Okay. Uh, hi. Hi. Why is my mic? Oh, mic is there going? it goes. Oh my god, you're green. I'm green. Yes, I'm green for Microsoft. You're green. Oh, yeah. that makes sense. And I can, oh. I can uh, lean over and give you a kiss. I'll just call myself a PlayStation fanboy then. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi everybody. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing E3. Uh, that starts in like three minutes. Yep. Hold on. I need to do technical things on my stream. So my avatar's gonna look weird for a second. Yeah. No worries. Where's the HDMI port? That's a USB. Come on. Ah. Yes, I'm glad you're enjoying hot tub time. Yeah, it, it's kind of it's kind of tiny in the corner, but like it's still fun, and we're both shirtless, yeah. so that's nice. I'm actually. Oh wait, I pressed F. I need to get your stream up as well. Yeah, so you can see the hot tub. Yeah, that's that's essential. Right, I'm actually. I'm gonna switch to the screen share window now. So Shameless actually, shilling for views. Yeah. There we go. This isn't shameless shilling. This is just. No, this is just like me, me doing a goof. If I really wanted to get shameless. I'd get like uh, elite motion and then like rub my nips or something. <laughs> or Allah's nips. That's one way to do it. Are you in a hot tub IRL? Uh, nope. I mean, it is really hot. In my country, but <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just sitting on my couch like usual. I'm gonna look how warm it is. Uh, 25 degrees Celsius, 78 degrees Fahrenheit. So hopefully that counts for something. It's not warm at all. That's boiling to me. I zoned. I zoned out. What was the temperature in Fahrenheit? 78. I mean, it's, like, it's I not. I understand that's probably not warm for America, but that's like baking here because normally it's like twenty-one in the summer, and that's still hot. It's not boiling, but it's uncomfortable, especially if you're inside without like air movement or anything. I'm. I have a fan on, but I'm cooking alive just because. Remember, UK houses are designed to keep heat in because we're a colder climate. Yeah, you guys are just cold and wet all the time. Yeah. Apart from right now, I'm boiling to death. Are you going to start Xbox? Oh, I guess it's not actually noon yet. Shortly. It's 11.59, so I guess they have a minute. Wait, I mean, the temperature. Uh, we could get hot in the hot tub, though. There's a lot we could do in here. <laughs> you can't even... You can enjoy your emote. Yeah, you can't see our hands. Who knows what we're doing under the water? Uh, I have a keyboard and mouse under the water. <laughs> okay, now it's noon. Where are you at, Xbox? They're working on it, I'm sure. I'm more concerned that it's just like not going to automatically roll over or something. Hopefully it will. I mean, I suppose I could like check on my phone. Uh, Sometimes do start oh, like here we go. Two three minutes late. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, it's a premiere. Come on. Oh, that's loud. Jesus it's Christ! Even, it's not even a stream. It's just a premiere. Well, sure. Yeah. I mean, why? Why would it be? Because it'd be fun if it was actually live. Well, but for, think of it from a production standpoint. Like, obviously, they're gonna just do a presentation you know i mean like even nintendo directs that's what those are i suppose yeah the graphics on this are a little bit gay are they they're colorful that's a very low standard well that's that's what uh that's what society has set me up 
to expect. Why are my subtitles set to Arabic by default? <laughs> Hopefully this music isn't copyrighted. Uh, fart sound effects in the meantime to cover up for them. Yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna mute this just in case it is, because this is not like adding value. I don't think it is. I think it's just. I'm so nervous about YouTube. music stuff though, in general. YouTube made this music, so I'm sure they don't really care. It's pro it's probably designed to be copyright free. Probably. Um. Yeah, we're. I'm gonna. I'm gonna maybe be liberal with muting in this if I have to. Uh, just because I don't want to get DMCA'd. Supposedly, Xbox is okay. Like, they're they're making it in a way that you're not going to get DMCA'd. And Square Enix literally has a DMCA-safe simulcast. Here we go. So, yeah, I'm expecting Halo and not much else from this. Oh, damn, that's a lot of 18s. 18s, what are you talking about? Upbeat music playing. Nice subtitles. Nice multilingual peggy rating. Eighteen plus stream. Yeah, well they're gonna show M games, that's why. Yeah. Okay, let's turn this back up a bit now. It's kinda quiet. Very dramatic Xbox. Browsing music playing. Sorry, I've got subtitles on. <laughs> it is always an N plus game in here, yeah. We're we're probably skirting the line into like an AO rating. Uh which is adults only. I you guys probably do different uh, ratings over there, right? Uh as caps out at 18. Okay. I, I don't know if we've done an AO game in like a long time. Here we go. I don't even know like what the last really adult talk. game. Stay a swear word on stage, get all the gamers happy. God, we have to listen to all these stage douches. Twenty years. Yeah, just That's say a swear word. Xbox say a swear word. Come on, I know you've got it in and you. Like you this That'll get people to buy Skyrim seventy five. I love seeing the new game. I think they are talking about Starfield, which is like space surprises. Skyrim. Most of all, though, I love seeing everyone around the world come together and celebrate what games mean to all of us. And I think, you know, Damn. this past year, they've meant even more. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for the support you give us and one another. Xbox is Make money. 20. And I wouldn't be here if it yeah, Al and I, or, or rather in response to something he said, uh, I was getting saucy about PlayStation games being like $70. They transport mm. us through art and technology. Which, granted, uh, Xbox isn't pulling that shit, so that's a point in their column. We've traveled the world Starfield! Of Fallout, and now, I don't know what this is and I don't care either. I think you might be a few seconds ahead of me. We're creating a yeah, new probably. With Starfield. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like 10 seconds or something. It's an epic about hope, our shared I do like the logo. In answering Simple and clean. Mystery. Yeah, it's, it's a game right. we've dreamt of playing. They're not wrong though, Calc. Like, there is a reason you can't buy any console right now. Yeah, how do I live in the future when, like, isn't this stream coming from America? It live streams are weird. Like, there's there's probably a buffer of a certain amount on either side where you maybe just randomly get in. Yeah. Shocked that Bethesda made Skyrim. I can't believe it. But yeah, yeah, I mean, you normally live in the future, so this is no different than usual. <laughs> in before, like, angry neckbeards are like, you had 25 years to work on this? That's not how development works. But yeah, so they announced this last year, or the year before, and this is the first time we're actually seeing anything beyond, like, one, one image. Not that yep. the field of stars is so That's vast, a good looking sandwich. But that we have measured it. You're part of constellation now. Part of our family. What you Ooh. found. It's the key to unlocking I don't know, I feel like Oh damn, he got the triple monitor set up. Like every space game feels so generic to me most of the time. Yeah. Like Star Wars and Mass Effect are like the notable exceptions. 
I think it's because a lot of them focus on like the idea that oh, space is the future, so it has to be futuristic, make everything blue and technology looking. My my point is, I hope this is like different, but it, I don't know because like Skyrim, the the Elder Scrolls world oftentimes feels very like vanilla fantasy, and and it's the fact that like the systems and gameplay is good that like makes it work. So I kind of feel like this is maybe also just going to be like generic sci-fi. Starfield on Game Pass. That's like good as a video game. Oh, it's Xbox Series X and S exclusives. They're not coming out on the one then. Does it say exclusive or is it just the logo in the corner you mean? Like if you look down there, it just says Series X and S, Windows 10 PC and Xbox Cloud. It doesn't say Xbox One. I don't know for sure whether that means it is exclusive or not. But you might you could be right. Cuz in theory this should be like a pretty beefy game. It's an Xbox exclusive, but I just don't know if it's a Series X and X and S exclusive. Right. Honestly, they do a bad job of clarifying that in these things. To the Xbox and yeah. Bethesda game showcase. Just put an Xbox One logo. I am logo. so excited on. and proud to be here today, celebrating games. Because although it's been an incredible <laughs> celebrating time, games, I'm grateful that games have been such an important source of joy and connection. We are committed yeah, unlocking to play across the all devices except the gaming. iPhone. Contra <laughs> worlds never before possible. Unlocking play across all devices and delivering the power of games to everyone. <laughs> and now we can go on the, really Skyrim again, please. The thing I was talking about where I was watching Rubber Ross react to like the indie thing, there was some ad for like Duracell batteries and it was like upgrade your play with Duracell batteries or whatever, and it's like they're batteries. That's the bare minimum. That's not upgrading shit. Yeah, I just I just went out and bought a play and charge kit. My Xbox, because who needs double A's? Yes, I I am actually using a charger too. Also, what they just said a minute ago about it being uh, optimized for Series X and S. That, like that doesn't say if it's exclusive. Right. That they're just saying it's better on them. Does that mean it's only going to be on them, or that it's just going to play better on them? Right, yeah, and that's where I'm guessing it is going to be on the old stuff, uh, but they're just focusing on the current stuff. Console launch exclusive probably means, like, coming to PC later, but not right away. <laughs> Do you? I don't know what they just told us what this was, but I already forgot. I don't know the series. That's some ray tracing and a half. That's a good looking puddle. That is a good looking puddle. And some nice looking fire as well. Stalker 2. That sounds right, yeah. I don't know that I've ever heard of Stalker 1. Yeah, neither have I. I'm not, I'm not like, I don't play a lot of Bethesda stuff. Like, really, probably just Elder Scrolls. And I've, I don't think I've ever played a Bethesda game. I've honestly only played Skyrim. I haven't played uh, Morrowind or Oblivion or anything. Something I played. Noble? That's interesting. I played an hour of Elder Scrolls Online and it felt dumb and bullet spongy, so I stopped. The Chernobyl thing does actually kind of interest me though, because I do like some Chernobyl stuff. What just happened there? Did, was that a psychic thing or was that like a. some kind of storm? Okay, yeah, there's just like distortions in the world. Good 
Говорят, ты знаешь, где вход в фундамент. Please don't be copyrighted. Oh, is there music coming up? Yeah. Let's see how long that goes on for. Oh, it stopped. Okay, I'll just leave it then. After he kicks the bucket. Yeah. yeah. Oh, guys. Yeah, I heard about that. I assume you watched the uh, Chernobyl show then. We don't have HBO here. No, no, not you, Calc. I don't. Know. I didn't care enough to watch that, but I've heard a lot of people say it was really good. I think there's also like some sad stuff with the dog or something, though. Oh, graphics. <laughs> Пошел ты. Зря ты так с друзьями. Ты же его на вылазки таскаешь. Чего чего? А дружбы в зоне я точно не встречал. Это верно. Там за Леон from Resident Evil 4. Он мучился. Нет. Это хорошо. Это злобака. Он этого не заслужил. Wait till he turns around. Пулю заслужил. Yeah, he did. Жаль, что ты так с ним поступил. Just like uh. Show you on my other monitor. I don't really know how far behind you are. Like like ten seconds, maybe not that long. So I don't know if your stream delay to me is accurate. Or what oh, that's true. Also, yeah, if you add in stream delay, you're probably getting more. Yeah, he's not as cute as Leon, though. He gets so close to the camera. They gotta show off, oh, like, oh, the pores. I know that. I know that radar. I forgot what the name of it is, but I know what that is. This is definitely, like, some sort of Soviet Chernobyl thing. I like that electric gun. Yeah, wait till he goes outside the building. That's a massive radar. Somewhere in, the, in like, the old Soviet Union. Stalker too. There we go. Part of Chernobyl. Okay, this is this looks Just really interesting. Stalker. Again, nothing about the Xbox One though. But I would venture to guess that most of these are still going to be on Xbox One because they said like for I mean, a oh. couple of years they're not going to do exclusives. I would hope, considering that I just bought a One X, and some of these games do look really interesting. And the creators have left the bed. Oh, I know this. That music in the background sounds like a Ford F-150 advert, though. We're surviving here. Well, you know, you gotta have the straight bait. We've got to fight. Straight bait. Uh, I'm expecting that you put some sort of graphic on the screen, but I'm waiting for it. Yeah, I did. There it is! Oh my god, that's amazing. I thought that was a very good idea that you had, so I used it. Oh my god, I need to go turn my fan back on, I'm boiling to death. <laughs> I had it on a timer, because I was thinking like, ah, oh, by the time this goes off, it'll be fine, but nope. Another day in paradise. That guy, the big guy looks familiar. I feel like we've seen this before. Yeah, you can definitely tell that this is from the people who made Left 4 Dead. Is it actually, or is it just meant to, like, be a Left 4 Dead clone? Well, it's made by the same people, so I... It, it's okay. Like, I wasn't paying attention. I can tell that this is, like, heavily inspired by it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look, there's the Xbox One logo. So... Then, like, I guess the previous games are Series X and S exclusives. Huh. Yeah, you're... maybe. 
I mean, all you know, Starfield probably isn't going to come out for like another two years or something. I don't know yeah, about don't the other about stuff. Starfield. Starfield, I would play the Chernobyl thing. I don't really care about. Oh, oh, it's actually like putting up a copyrighted music thing now. It, it says in the subtitles what it is. Okay, the play funny fart sound effects to what's playing on the record right now. Yeah, does it? Mine also defaults to Arabic. It's weird. Uh, yeah, is it still going? Yep, we'll just we'll just have that be muted for a minute. Oh boy. Yep. Cool. Thanks, Xbox, for not delivering on your DMCA safe promise. As long as we just keep talking over it, it won't matter. Well, yes uh, and no. I mean, it's risky in general. Things, words, talking, English, co-op, open world. I still have no idea what this is yet. I think you're actually in front of me now. Am I? Yeah. I just went past the sparks and now I'm looking into a red chest. Come on. Catch Contraband. Up Come on, stream. Stop being behind. They did say that they're like putting like some big major game on Game Pass at least one per quarter. Uh... So that's okay, I need to cool. I need to refresh this page because it's now like a whole minute behind. You. See if the mm. yeah, I'm I'm behind you now. I think I just got to see thieves as well, so we're probably close. The rare logo just went past me. An eel wind strikes from beyond the horizon. Wait, oh, now the subtitles are back in Arabic hides. again. I think just because that's first alphabetically, right? Oh damn, that's a lot of money. This totally is not Calypso from Pirates. This is their original character, Kelpie. They also have... Didn't realize we had company. Oh, they, okay, they're literally doing Pirates of the Caribbean, that's why. I was gonna say, they have Calypso, they oh, have the dog is. with keys. I mean, it makes sense, like, right Pirates is the, the best Pirates thing. Disney! The way. Oh my god, they said the name of the game. Oh my god, no way. A legion of dead, angry pirates. Oh yes. And now one Davy Jones. This seems like a smart move for this game. Well, I believe that now is the perfect time to use these cannons. I've never played it. I don't really give that much of a fuck, but if you're gonna do pirates, you might as well do Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm just, like, a bit confused as to why it's going in this direction. Well, because it's pirates. Like, the, the best thing that anyone ever said about Assassin's Creed 4 is that it feels like you're playing a Pirates of the Caribbean video game. And now they're doing that in this. I think that Actually, no. I, uh, I'm not going to say that in case I'm about to say something really dumb. No, go for it. Sea of thieves, eh? No, I need to double check that I, I'm that right about this. Okay. Oh, this is maybe going to... Okay. They were getting into, like, pirate's music there for a second. Sea of these nuts. <laughs> June 22nd. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Joe, get that graphic ready hey, again. How's it going? For what? Let's do this. 
That's just like, I've never seen a more baiting intro in my life. Oh, I don't know. I don't think yeah. I mean, you know, all of this is pretty straight, but like, I think Yakuza is actually pretty cool. Like, look at look at this shit. Like, crabs fighting with a phone. It's like really, and now this. Happy birthday! I would like to play them at some point. I've only heard good things. And I think it's maybe this one that's actually like turn based. On Xbox One as well. Live in game 128 players. What is this? Battlefield or something? Cyberpunk. No. Cyberpunk, I wish. <laughs> This is like dice. Like I don't. Dice makes Battlefield, right? I paid no attention to that series. No idea. I'll make you some food. <laughs> to be fair, this looks like cool. Uh, so I don't know if it's like on Game Pass. I could be. I could see playing this at some point. That would be like. Imagine getting like 128 like VTubers together or something and playing this. That sounds horrendous. Not not like trying to all VC in one call or something, but just like <laughs> that'd be funny though. Organizing it. I don't know. You'd have you'd have to be someone with like a lot of clout to like just oh, yeah. be like, hey, come play this, and then everyone would be like frothing at the opportunity. Like, I can't even call this straight bait because it's just actually kind of cool. Yeah. Once we get to cars, then then it'll be a lot of straight bait. Because li literally, car games and football games are just straight bait. Like, the shooters, at least, you get to, like, do something cool. Uh, sports games and racing games are straight up straight bait, unless it's Mario Kart. There's one guy that keeps begging me to play and buy Forza, and I'm like, it's 30 quid, I'm not gonna buy it until it hits, like, 10. Like, a viewer or a friend of yours? Uh, Snake Venom. He's been in my chat a couple times. But you know him, right? He's not just, like, a random guy? Yeah, but I don't know him that well. Okay. Because we don't talk all that often, but, um... I'm just not. Like, I just don't want to spend that much money on a game that... I know that I'm probably going to enjoy, but not that much. Yeah, definitely. There are games like that where I uh, just don't want to spend the money. Yeah, no. I think it's mainly just because it's like all the customization that comes with the cars in that game. I don't understand how cars work. I don't know what an upgrade to this or that would do. I just want to, like, go. Go fast? Yeah. Yep, there it is. Battlefield. Yeah, that actually looked pretty cool. They had, like, one. graphics, air particles going on the whole time. Like, the lighting That's and the colors were cool. When was it? Uh, so, October something. Oh, you know. 22nd. I have something to share. When is this, my birthday? I remember this. This is, like, uh... What's going on? Shut up. Like, like, go. yeah, 12 minutes. It's, it's like a Groundhog Day thing. I like how the subtitles no, actually say lot, wife and husband. I love you. I say this a lot too, but back at you. Oh. Wait, how do I read American dates? Uh, it's... Oh, August 19th, there we go. Right, it's month, day, year. Which, to be that's probably objectively one of the things that we're dumb about. It doesn't make sense. I need to play these at some point too. One of my buddies really like the original. And it's pretty old now, but the ideas are cool. I have no idea what this game is. It's like a platformer, I guess. 
No, like, I don't know what the name of it is. Psychonauts 2. Oh, right. I'm afraid that yeah, I heard about this. For you. Yeah, this has been, like, uh... Like, in progress for a while. Like, we've seen... Stuff for a while. But I, I guess Double Fine... Isn't Double Fine one of those studios that's, like, infamous for... Like, taking forever to do stuff? Oh, right, and the guy who voices this guy voices Zim. About the fate of the world. Can you do that? Yes. If I can find some bacon. I'm Media Molecules are that another part. studio that are infamous for taking forever. What do they make? Uh, Little Big Planet Dreams. Ah, uh, yeah. Because Dreams took seven years to develop. I'm not surprised. Bethesda. This is usually the moment when I say hello and welcome to the Bethesda E3 showcase. We love the but not today, because now Daddy Xbox owns our asses. We've known Bethesda for 35 years or are just getting to know us. We couldn't be happier to bring you the latest on your favorite games. We started this showcase with Tell us about Skyrim Power, Plus Plus gave you a DLC. First look <laughs> Along with Bethesda Game Studios, all of our teams are continuing to work on the project. Stop talking about shit you already showed us. I don't care. Join the Xbox family. So rest assured, the games you've been expecting and hoping for are still in the works. And today, we're bringing 10 more titles to Game Pass for a total of 30 Bethesda games. That includes several id Software games, like the award-winning Doom Eternal. If you're looking for another reason to play it, Doom Eternal will be optimized... Yes, that was already on Game Pass. ...on June 29th. If you'd give us the DLC, that'd be cool. Upgrade will be free but I'm sure they won't. Owns Doom Eternal. And on Series X, it will offer improved visuals at 60 FPS with ray tracing, a 4K mode, and an optional performance mode up to 120 FPS. I, even that is incremental. They already had like a better version of it on anniversary this November on uh, Series oh, X. Skyrim, here we go. Yeah, of course they had to talk about Skyrim. Stories, artwork, and more on Skyrim10.com, or. Yes, I knew they were gonna sell us a 15th copy of it. I, literally, if they would like do something new, put co-op in it, and then I'll care. Building rich storylines, warring factions, unique characters, places to discover. You'll find it If they were able to only sell Skyrim, they probably would. Fallout 76 is now one of the most popular games on game. You could probably only sell Skyrim and be more successful than like a lot of other uh, developers. Yep. And how, what about this, 76? They, like, fixed it a little bit, but I don't know if people ever got into it. I thought people hated it. I think so, too, and I don't think that ever really went away, even if they fixed a little bit. There's also, like, some big, like, deluxe edition fiasco. You're supposed to get, like, a cool bag or something, but it was, like, garbage. And so everybody was really upset about that, too. Thing is finding everyone that has gone missing and returning them home. Hey, it's the America suit. So it comes to this. The America suit. It's Captain America himself. I thought you understood what that insignia meant. That feels pretty straight, baby. Straight, baby. What's that? I said this planet. Because we all know America is the best country. Yeah. All right. Like the Brotherhood of Steel better. must protect the future of Appalachia and of the world. Your righteous crusade has gone to. I hope this isn't copyrighted. In the subtitles, they're just called like Man One, Two, Three, Four, and Five. Stronger than ever. This is a choice that can never be undone. Yes, that's how shooting someone works. Oh, it's free. All right. What the hell was that? I guess that'll Expedition maybe get seven Delta people to return to the game. I speaking of that, I literally saw a headline that was like, "Nobody's playing Godfall on PS5, so they're bringing it to PS4." 
Probably because no one, actually, I was going to say nobody can get hold of a PS5, but they've sold 9 million units now. Well, yeah, they've done, other games have done fine. So I think that's more on Godfall. Probably. For B and, it, you know, it looks cool, but it's like a stupid looter game. It's it's like, it's like Dark Souls, but like with more dynamic movement or something. And then with like looter mechanics, you know, like, do the same shit over and over and try to get cool, new, better loot with, like, one better stat, which I hate. The Elder Scrolls Online from ZeniMax Online Studio has now surpassed 18 million players and shows no signs of slowing down. Right now, our players are enjoying the new Blackwood chapter, part of the Gates cool. of Oblivion year-long adventure. I wish it was fun to play, because it looks it. really cool. Epic story Later Someone gifted it to me on Steam like three years ago, and I've just never played it. I played the first hour, and it felt like a bullet sponge the whole time. I've played about 80 minutes of Skyrim that I played on my old Toshiba laptop with a cell run in, so it was running at like 7 FPS. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you should check it out then on your, uh, on your X at some point. Or whatever the hell it is that you have. Xbox One X. Like One X. Right, okay. So, there is still an X in there. Yeah, the One X is literally just an Xbox One, but now it's 4K. Right. Uh, and it has the power supply built into it. Like, the, every time I see this game, I'm just like, this looks amazing. I really would like to play this, but I don't want to suffer through the shitty bullet sponge gameplay. Stop saying optimize for Series S, oh my god. Well, they have to be masturbatory and jack off about how good their stuff is. Can we have Halo yet? Are they not going to do Halo until like the end? They'll probably save that for last year. I expect it'll be sort of long. Winning this battle will take a new breed of fighter. Wait. What in the hell? Uh, Is this uh fucking the the? Yeah, yeah, Fall Guys. Or, sorry, yes, Gang Beast. That's what I was thinking of. This I looks. I thought it was funny. It looks way better though now. Like, this is probably actually a new game, but it's, like, the same kind of thing from the same people, I bet. Yeah, but, it looks, like, when games look bad, uh, and they have, like, terrible physics like this, it can sometimes be, like, add to it. Sure, but Gang Beasts always felt like, like, a beta or something. Like, it didn't look fully finished. I still kind of prefer the old one, though, because, like, you can add your own um, textures to the game instead of having these like fluffy characters. On PC you can add your own textures. I feel like this will sell it's already been, uh, better though. A lot of stuff has been. Uh, Stalker 2 is the only thing that I can really think of that was of any note. Uh, and Skyrim 27 because you don't need Elder Scrolls 6 when you can just make Skyrim 2. Starfield was also probably notable. Yeah. Party animals, okay. So it is a new game. I still prefer Gang Beasts. Hades coming to Xbox finally. Ooh, Hades. I would I would have loved to have gotten that on Xbox, but they took too long. I do like that I did like that animation in the beginning though. Yeah, that plays at the uh, beginning, if you just like sit on the menu or whatever. Oh. Or or maybe if you just like don't press anything leading up to the menu. But again, like I've said, it's stylized, so it really isn't a big deal that it's on Switch. Unless this is, like, now gonna have more stuff. Yeah, this game can run on anything, so... At least it has cross saves. For the existing stuff, that assumes oh that it will... Oh my god, it comes out physically. Uh, now I have to buy it. <laughs> Your uh, why is my avatar broken? I was gonna say it's like stuck. Yeah, try hitting the reset position yeah, button. Why? 
I think my camera has just like stopped. Oh, there, there we you go. go. <laughs> All better. It just like jumped back. Is this this isn't copyrighted, is it? Oh. Are your subtitles warning you? No, it just says light snoring. Okay. <laughs> it's if it's instrumental most of the time I'm not as worried about it. Like when it has lyrics and stuff. Oh, I wonder, is this by the people who did like um Limbo really and familiar. Inside and stuff. This looks very familiar. I feel like I've seen this before. I don't know if I have, but the style reminds me of Inside. Oh. <laughs> the dog better make it out of this game. Alive. Oh yeah. If they kill off the dog because emotional, then boycott. Like, take the child, leave the dog. Yeah, kill the kid. Nobody likes kids anyway. <laughs> Somerville. I swear there used to be a shop here called Somerville. Or like Summer something. This Summerfield, that's what it was called. It's spelled in the exact same way. It's my boy. It's, it's Mr. Family. Chef. To there he is. Of passionate fans. Thank you. Oh, the 20th anniversary of MasterChef. Our goal has always been to bring players together. Gordon Ramsay himself. We're thrilled to offer our entire multiplayer experience to all players across Xbox and PC with no barriers. Halo Infinite multiplayer will be free to play and invite more Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's a whole yeah. can of worms. I'm excited to be here with That's probably not for the best, but Infinite. it might mean I can get more people to play it with me. You ready to get your ass beat by like, PC ODST. players when everyone else is on Halo Xbox Visionary. One? I mean, when I was playing Master Chief Collection last night, it was like 90% controllers, 10% keyboard. PC players have a huge advantage, though. Yeah, I know. About fighting they also have a slight disadvantage, though, because uh, on odds. Xbox, a you have aim, aim assist. There was an option to, like, keep it restricted this to your... Part of the Zeta Halo ring. Like, your control type, though, so they might have that in this, too. Ever built. And we can't wait for you to explore it. Does it look better now, though? Because it wasn't looking so hot last year. Yeah, but it's really pretty. The environments were fine in general, but, like... Uh, there were there were some things where it, it just did not look like a current game. The Master Chief. If this the is running in engine, I'll be really impressed. I think so, probably, yeah. They're not alone in the fight. Oh, the main batteries are shut down. This is the guy we have now instead of Cortana. Yeah, Microsoft gave up on Cortana after. Um, well, she's into an AI. She's she's in this, I think. Like that plot is still happening. I told you. All of the extended universe stuff is still like leading to that happening. Her name has been ruined by them turning her into an AI, though, for Windows phones and everyone hating it. Well, but that's kind of the the point. Like she's the AI from their big IP, so why not use her for their Siri? Because yeah, here she, here she is talking now. Jen Taylor. Like, bad. As, like, a Windows AI. Well, she's bad in-game, too. She's naughty now. Well, then. Why is it doing ASMR, like, back and forth? They do that. Sometimes with her. What happened? Where is Cortana? The rogue AI known as Cortana is gone. Master Chef. Deleted. How? By you? Of course not. Did you hit your head or something? Don't you remember? My instructions were to enter this installation, imitate Cortana, and lock her down for retrieval. Yours were to take her back to the Infinity for deletion. So if it wasn't you... 
Okay then. It's the Samsung Ego. Yeah, I. This isn't. Routine was supposed to complete. I don't think this is Jen Taylor. Still here. <laughs> Good. Good. Something stopped your deletion. We need to find out why. But. Or is this supposed to be Cortana? The like, changed. like reset they or something? Are you sure? Because I can see this being, you know, this is like, like. Great, starry-eyed, baby Cortana. Um, he's got an SD card in the back of his head. It's hard to tell. They keep changing her look like every game. Of course, you can't have a Halo game without multiplayer. I don't know anything about Halo. Xbox I just thought Series it was X, funny that he has an SD card in the back of his head. Yeah, because because the AIs like do shit Finally, for them. Very happy to the, the Spartans are like first free-to-play multiplayer season and infinite story-driven campaign will launch together. This holiday. Yeah, good. They fucking better. That's how a video game works, you jackass. A new generation um, anyway, the Spartans are, like, heavily modified, so they have, like, a thing in their head where you plug in stuff. What does it mean by this holiday? Meaning, like, fall slash winter, but they're not telling us a date yet. Okay, because literally we have, like, 70 million holidays here. Because Oh, right, yeah. This holiday means holiday season, which is like around Christmas time. Holidays are worth vacation, so that's a bit confusing. I'm at it. I'll have to rewatch this. There's a lot going on here quickly. I suppose this is the multiplayer. Yeah. Still maybe looking a little bit like like the aspect I didn't like about it last year, which is that it's like very kind of smooth lighting and things don't necessarily look super detailed texture wise. That's probably because like as much as they're allowed to use ray tracing on the series X and S, this game's also releasing on the original Xbox One. So I will potato if I for the original Xbox One. I think it's mostly a stylistic thing. I don't know. I'll I'll reserve judgment for like watching this in 4K because the stream is only at 1080. But in general, I mean, it's looking cool. I'm still very excited for this. Never played a Halo game before. I like. Interesting. I like the grabby little grapple thing. Yeah, the grapple thing. Like, we knew before that you could use it for, like, getting to a point, but I like that you can, like, grab guns and stuff. Epic campaign. Epic campaign, that's a little free, baby. So, buy free to play. Meaning, you can play it, and then if you want all the cosmetics, it, like, they have a battle pass, basically, now. You can play it, but only if you have also pay for Xbox Online. I think that is true as well, yes. But maybe not. There are some games where they just exempt you from that requirement. Yeah, they only allowed free-to-play games to do that recently, though. They, I, PlayStation and Switch, they've had that rule for years, but then only like a month or two ago, they let Fortnite be free. I am willing to bet that for Halo, they will let you play it without like Xbox Gold or whatever. Xbox. That, and, and that's confusing because that's not even a thing anymore. They're like getting rid of it. Yeah, they got rid of Gold and Silver. They've now just called it Xbox Live. So is this Diablo 1 or 2? I don't know my Diablos that well. I didn't know what this was to be honest. I, I saw like the opening graphic with the guy's face melting and I was like, oh. So it's going to be like that, but then no, then League of Legends gameplay style. I think, I think it's two. I'd be interested in playing this. I had a lot of fun with two. Oh, wow. Eight player co-op, wow. Yeah, you're definitely like at least maybe one second in front of me. You're too late. 
It's because you said eight player co-op as the screen just showed up for me. Oh. Okay, and I saw Mephisto there, so I'm... I think he was in too. Yeah. There it yeah. is. I'd be I'd be down to get some people together and play that. With like most of this stuff, I'm just looking for the Xbox One logo, so I know that if I'm interested, if I can play it. Captured in engine. From? from all of us. From the narrative is just called Man Six on the subtitles. I don't know. Good old man six. But she's and my brother. woman too. And I would die for Classic her. woman too. So is this weird. is this the thing with rats? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it is. I thought this was out already. Oh my god. <laughs> a rat tsunami. Maybe this is a sequel, I don't know. Yeah, how would the physics of that even work? <laughs> There's so many of them, they turn to liquid. New child, question mark? Punch them. I'm guessing this is a sequel. This is like, the Jeez, sister and her no. brother, like, made it out or whatever, and Think now there's a kid. Though. The Plague Tale. I think I people go back and, like, like that. Lighting. That the, on the G on the logo just looks like a rat humping the G. It do. It rings every hour, okay. So and this is Far Cry now. Because it has what's his name from Breaking Bad. Let me ask you a question. When I am dead. And Yara is burning. I like him, but he's just like the same character in everything. Hold hands, sing song. Breaking Bad, uh, Mandalorian, and this. It's like all the same character. Ubisoft had their presentation yesterday, though. Yeah, but Xbox has got to, you know, jerk off and be like, hey, look at this cool thing that we have. Oh, damn. The lighting, though. Stealth operation? I got you covered. No, I, this feels like very copyrighted music. I'm gonna mute that. I don't trust I'm that. I'm gonna leave it. If my VOD gets taken down, it gets taken down. I just want to be able to enjoy this. I also don't really care that much about this, so I'm not bothered particularly. Far Cry is also another just like straight bait game. Yep. Straight bait. I, I do kind of want to play three though. Is that what this is? Three? No, this is six, I think. What's the specific draw of three for you? Uh, I watched Parasynical's video on it. He did like a two hour video going like really in depth about it. Uh, and the story just seems really deep and interesting. Like the rest of the Far Cries are a bit, uh, just the rest of the Far Cries have like tried to live up to three, but they just haven't been able to. Hey, whatever you need to get the job done, Danny. I like the punk rooster. <laughs> Next time I see you. Oh, and doggy. Hold on, I'm just. I need to look at your stream to verify what I just saw. What? Uh, yeah, okay. You know when that guy, like, yelled and he stuck his gun up in the air? Yeah. You can see the textures for his chest loading in in real time. <laughs> well, they said it was, like, real captured footage, so I guess... What is this? Oh, this is the fox thing. I bet. This well, looks... I mean, the logo is a fox. Well, it's like a Zelda thing with like a little fox. That is extremely colorful. It no, it's slime rancher. 
What? Yes. Oh my god. What, who the fuck cares about Slime Rancher? Me. Of course you do. Me. I love Slime Rancher. This looks new and... Well, because this is totally a bottom game. Okay. It's a good <laughs> game. <laughs> it looks fun, but... Uh, it fall. It has enough of that like farming DNA, oh, and those yeah. those games are like stereotypically bottom games. I think this is new though, like a sequel or something. Two, yeah, you're right. There's the two. Like the graphics just look way better. Ah, uh, 2022, and it's only on Series X and S. NPC. Give me my. Yeah, but I want to play it on Xbox. Just gotta get a sugar daddy. That's difficult. Foam punch. Well, what you know? Once you once you move out, maybe you can start up the OnlyFans. <laughs> get that sweet horny money. Probably not. Yeah, I... Was this the sequel to 1080 Snowboarding on the N64? I have no fucking idea what this is, but I don't care, and it's straight away. Is it, though? It's a sports game, so yes. Yeah, but not every sports game is big. I think it is. What, do you not enjoy a bit of Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympic Games? No, actually. Uh, I Those feel like not... Very, like, they're just kind of cheap cash grabs. Yeah, I like yeah, Mario Mario's. Kart, but... That was, like, my favorite childhood game, though. Well, yeah, because you're, like, a, a Sonic stan. Yeah. Th this is, like... Yes, we are, Ryan. Straight bait plus, like, look at our snow physics bait. Straight phobic. <laughs> Yes, we are. Yeah, no, this game. Is Here, okay. Level. You, that anime I've recommended, Skate the Infinity, take, like, the vibes of that and paste it over this, and this is instantly, like, a much better game. Oh, okay. I still but th this is, like, really surface-level generic snowboarding. Like, it's not interesting. Yeah. Russian techno music playing. Okay, thank you, subtitles. Is, uh... Concerned about copyright for this too, but this looks cool. Oh, is this just modern, like, Euro pop? I don't know. I, so many first person shooters just feel generic, though. Like, this, this could be any of, like, 20 games that are, like, released in the past few years or releasing soon. Yep. Yeah, this looks a bit boring. There's so much stuff. Like I was I wasn't expecting it to last this long. Well, we've only been going about an hour, so we're two thirds of the way through. This looks familiar, I'm not sure why. I don't know that I know what this is. This looks really fun. It, oh, it, I know why I... It yeah. reminds me a little bit of, like, Sword and Sorcery. It reminds me of this one YouTube video from, like, 2011 of these guys in light-up suits uh, dancing. It's, a bit, it's, it's interesting how it's, like, both pixelated and really high detail at the same time. Yeah, kind of like uh, Octopath. And I'm concerned about copyright on that, too. 3D and 2D at the same time. I would like to see more games do things in that 
aesthetic and experiment with it more. Because I feel like that's kind of cool. Like, you, you get the neat stylization of pixel art, and you still get, like, a realism element to it as well. To, like, show off high-fidelity graphic stuff. Mm. So it's, it's kind of, like, the best of both worlds in some ways. Yeah, this just feels like an extremely stylized one of those uh, like generic run and gun games that you see on the Switch eShop every other day. Yeah, kind of. Other than the graphics looking nice. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that there's like a whole lot here to really set it apart. But I, I do, I like that all of these are like, get it on Game Pass. Oh my god, it's Bug Snacks. It's finally coming to the Xbox One, guys. <laughs> of players kept busy this one sounded interesting but i think it's Fighting. i don't know bullet spongy this just looks weird it's 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 like the movie ants like you get shrunk and then you have to like fight bugs on it like i haven't seen I've seen like one channel play this. Pass for when you get sick of your human companions. And of course, mushrooms. But not those kinds. We also got something that literally That feels like every other game update. For. What? I added something Mother. that nobody was asking for. <laughs> so terrifying. Arachnophobia mode. <laughs> You should probably That's good for me because I hate spiders. Oh, even her blob scares the sh out of us. Go big. Or you know, maybe if you're arachnophobic, maybe maybe choose not to play the bug game. Yeah, it does oh, look kind of interesting though. Like, too. real. I'm I'm joking mostly. Accessibility oh options god, are good. Oh my god, Amogus. Mogus. Is it on Xbox yet? I don't think it is. It's like on PC right now. But yeah, they're adding like more players and more colors and like face shit. This was also already shown elsewhere. God, 15 player lobbies. This still looks like it's just Among Us. Like there's nothing to it. Right, it's just on Xbox with like minor things. But I can see like Amogos. the increased player count being like a big deal. Here we go. Sell us the console then. I think you're back ahead again. Eden Chronicles. Hello, Angel. Yeah, I, what is this? This is like generic I, anime bullshit. Yeah, I'm really confused. Oh, I know this game. I remember when they were first showing this off, everyone was like, wow, this looks awful. It it's again like the combination of the 2D and 3D, but it's just like yeah. a really weird way. I don't I don't love the sprite style. Like I said before, like the combination of 2D and 3D looks interesting. But for this, the way they've done it is instead of everything being pixelized, it's just the characters, so it looks a bit weird. Yeah, that doesn't always work. But I guess I am getting what I'm asking for. Like, more people are experimenting with that style. Yeah. Oh, wait, so now there's just two, two of those. I guess so. Cool. I haven't been paying super close attention, but I wonder if, like, literally everything here has been, like, play at day one game pass. That sounds like something they would do. 
We wish no, to this looks familiar. Yeah, this is... I almost wanted to say Borderlands, but now I don't think it is. The... I can't read that word. Which word? The title of the game. Ascent? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I don't know what that is. It might just be a new IP. <laughs> what the hell? History is all around us. Those who made it have never been What was that anime game? I have no idea. I'm not going back to find out. Like, it doesn't e come out for another two years anyway, Ryan. Eden Chronicles, spelled like E I Y. It doesn't come out until the, the first one comes out 2022, the second one comes out 2023. What, would you what? What is the concept here? Like, ghost history battles? This is just Fire Emblem. I think it's more. Like, uh, Age of Empires, Battle for Middle-Earth, that kind of thing. Like, it's not turn-based, it's real-time. What do you call these? I forget what these are called. Beatty. It's not, it's not an RTS. I don't know. Or, or Warcraft, that's probably the biggest game like in this style Age of Empires yeah oh it is literally Age of Empires okay I didn't even know there was three of them to begin with wait that's a three I thought that was like a six no no that was a four so there's three prior to this I thought there was only two I only know like two roman numerals and that's seven and eight we begin by because final fantasy yeah. voice. and this is fable i bet peaceful setting this will make our game seem big and important. oh now oh something must break the serenity what was that godzilla will this creature be in the game no say goodbye to it forever <laughs> I like the narrator. Suddenly, yeah. For no reason, that feels very fable. Oh, this doesn't. <laughs> should bolster the pre-sale numbers. Make everything seem cool. And should bolster pre-sale numbers. <laughs> that wah sound can mean only one thing. We <laughs> must gaze love this. over an epic shot of a world. And there should be lens flares. What game is this? Because the developers haven't finished the design. But only their silhouette. Because the developers haven't finished the design. Or finished the story. Or finished any gameplay that's actually ready to show. In fact, the only thing they have finished... The Outer Worlds. Is the oh. Two. Okay. This looks really good. The first one was extremely mediocre. Unless I'm getting it mixed up. There's Outer Worlds and Outer Wilds, and they came out at, like, the same time, and the title is, like, the same. I don't remember which one I... Okay, Outer Worlds is the one I played, so yes. The first one was extremely mediocre. The graphics were, like, bad. Captured in real time. I have my doubts. Oh my god, that water. Or oh, is this Planet Earth, the documentary? I don't know, but I already don't care about this. I do purely just because the graphics are incredible. Oh my god, don't tell me this is Microsoft Flight Simulator. <laughs> Probably. to be yeah there's no way this isn't flight simulator but if also, uh, flight simulator is like 700 gigabytes so i don't know if, how they're going to compress that if they don't have like a 4k 
Xbox enhanced version. That's probably what this is. This game is gonna come with its own like hard drive for you to install it on because of how big it's going I don't need is the first one even on Xbox or is it PC only? PC only, I'm pretty sure. So maybe they're bringing this to Xbox then. This game is massive. They literally better provide you with like a USB stick to install it on. Not if it's uh like digital only. I knew it! I knew it! Yep, there it is. Oh wow, it's actually coming out pretty soon as well. Yeah. Low version of Top Gun theme playing. Okay. What's this DLC? Alright, hold on. If this is Top Gun, then I'm going to mute that. Is this DLC for the game that's not even out yet? For Flight Sim, the one they just showed? Yep. I'm willing to bet this is like... Yeah, the, free expansion. I, is, oh my god. This is the straight, bait. the straight Bait Army expansion? It's the Top Gun expansion, so it literally is. Does that... like what the fuck? Does the animation that you have have sound? Because I've not heard it yet. Yeah, it's like a, a Duke Nukem voice, and it says Straight Bait. You need to, like... Tell me when you're gonna do it next so I can unmute the stream and hear it for myself. Do you want me to just do it now? Yeah. Okay, I'll do it now. Now this is some good looking water. <laughs> and I think it said this was an engine. Jesus. Oh, Forza, here we go. Oh. Convenient timing. And now I don't care again. Car engine rules. Time. You can get it, playing. Okay, well then this is copyrighted. No, 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 muting that. That's okay. We could just play straight bait on loop. Yeah. So. uh... I had that straight bait one with a sound clip from like a voice generator that had a Duke Nukem thing, and then my other one, which I haven't used yet, but you know what it is. Uh, of course, they have a Range Rover and a Porsche. The oh. the other one, I have like a a, a voice generated Danny Phantom clip. <laughs> the, I've never you, seen Danny Phantom, but I know what it is. Okay, you know who it is at least, yeah. Yeah. I mean, of course you do because. That that was like a gay awakening for people. Yeah. I that's he's totally he like he's the best looking character in that show, and it's guilty of like that like like wow what a loser dork that nobody would like, and then he's like the cute character on the show. Yeah, Forza Horizon Five. Oh, it is on Xbox One. They did that on on Hannah Montana too. They're like. Miley Cyrus, what an ugly dork that nobody would like. And it's like, really? I don't think that's how that works. Look at this dumb idiot that's not attractive. Well, yeah. Brown, no, literally. Playground games. Yeah. And I can't wait to show you. And I'm like, yeah, that's why she has her own TV show, because she's so ugly and unlovable. Fun, yeah. Freedom and beauty. This year, the Horizon Festival arrives in beautiful, diverse I Mexico. Here, where it is, it's still a car game. Shut up. In a Forza I kind of care. And there is no better car. Allo is straight now. Confirmed. No. Project One Forza Listen, Edition. I grew up playing Gran Turismo. In unparalleled <laughs> detail and with ray tracing in Forza Vista, thanks to the power of the Xbox Series consoles. They're really like milking that. Like car doing a Transformers thing. Some of the team to help yep. give you a taste of some of the amazing. Do real cars even do that ever? In Forza Horizon Probably, because this is all like Maddie, based on Sierra being as realistic as possible. Team. Yeah, I suppose so. Hey guys, what's up? Hey everyone. Oh. Hey, what's up, Mike? Now we're maybe getting into cringe territory. He's one of the talented. I'm gonna. Uh, I'll put sound on. I'll play my cringe thing. That was cringe. I can't wait to show you what we've been working on. We begin in the rainforest on an oh. <laughs> This is a new campaign mode in which you set out on an adventurous journey across Mexico to explore new locations. This is like too pixelated on my TV, but it looks yeah. nice. I'm, I'm watching on at my um. There you are. Just at my How's desk. Your 
Great. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a stream, so... Why do they the say it's Forza and not Forza? Uh, for the Americans. How is it spelled? It's spelled. It isn't spelled with the T, is it? No, there's no T. Yeah, so I'd I'd say Forza. Maybe it's just that's his accent because he's got a different campaign. British accent. Forza Horizon has always he's from been South. A game that's yeah, it's because he has an accent. That's not the American way to say it. What the hell did he just say? Detail, right down to I wasn't paying attention. I don't know. On these the scene I, I'm so real. glad I put subtitles on no because they're saying words that aren't spelt the same game. way that you pronounce them. <laughs> AMG Project One Forza Edition in Mexico's lush living desert. The perfect place to meet up with this friends does look and head really out good for though. a drive. Like yeah. Graphics, this Thanks is incredible. Thanks to the next generation of our Horizon Live servers, everyone else we see here are real players. And it looks like Maddie... Yeah, that's because there's, there's no gameplay. You just press drive and it goes fast. Yep. Let's that's the that's the fun part. The coast <laughs> that's why I like I like driving in Don GTA just because you just go. Give give me this, but Mario Kart, and then I'll care. There's this no complexity. You just press a button and go, honest, unless until you get to like actual. Love. Speaking of, hold up, Don. Yeah, they did say something about cactus needles or something. Is a mural by yeah, Mexican artist that's what Fareed I was confused Brueda. about. Just one of the many beautiful, faithful pieces of Mexico. Yes, and that's more interesting than everything else they've shown so far. They don't want to talk about how you upgrade the engine because they know that nobody will understand it apart from like car nerds. While Don drives down to the beach, we'll jump over to Well, why not though? Because no one will care about this in general except for car nerds. This geology detail that is a with fat subtitle box. Using photogrammetry data captured on location atop an active Mexican volcano. The entire world has been recreated at this level of detail. And here's I doubt that, but it does look nice. The volcano Sierra and friends are exploring is the highest what what is the scale of this they said the entire world has been recreated you can't play on the entire world can you uh, are they like leveraging the Microsoft flight sim tech but now you're in a car it's an open world game but I'm guessing like the by that they mean like the the uh, the game world not the planet earth yeah the old map city of vibrant architecture because remember like forza games are based on real life stuff like in four right bunch of stuff in scotland i mean as well as looking good it plays great too as we see here as don is challenged in horizon's open world battle royale the eliminator of course there's a battle royale race the rest of our players are still out exploring this diverse open world let's head north to the canyon they really like the word diverse in this uh presentation beauty and using our it's unique well okay. camera rig, we captured 24-hour shoots of real Mexican skies at 12K resolution. And thanks to the Xbox Series consoles, these photorealistic skies result in lifelike lighting that dynamically changes every frame, making you feel... Like yeah, fuck me, this just looks so good that I actually do want to play it, even though I don't care. She's joined yeah, exactly. See? Other members of the team. See what I'm getting at now? It's, it's wearing me down, it's too pretty. Yeah. That intelligently tracks the status of you like I don't actually care for the whole like uh, upgrade car, car buy car, like whatever. The, you know, to, like, around in a beautiful world. The closest thing to a car game I feel like I've played is in some of the Transformers games when you turn into a car. If they could just give me this, but then put like Transformers in it, that'd be great. I you don't even have to like design good maps. Just give me this pretty real world world, and then let me fight. Transformers in it. Yeah. I mean, I, I grew up playing Gran Turismo, so like this is just incredible to me because like I I do miss Gran Turismo. Signaled by the Horizon cargo plane dropping a payload of pinatas. Ooh, over this way. I wasn't good at it, but I enjoyed it. Fake dialogue. That's cringe. That was cringe. No, it's real dialogue. Okay, what this is totally real, using their uh, the Audio Technica AT2020 with their houses. headsets. I hate it. I hate it, it's so cringe. That was cringe! We're going over to the stadium because I have one more thing to show you. People roast them for doing this, like not Microsoft specifically, but everybody except like Nintendo. People roast that every year. Why do they keep doing it? Well, the fake dialogue. Yeah. 
customize everything. This now also looks better. I mean, it's not pretty graphics anymore, but it's like more fun looking. Forza Horizon 5 is the largest, most fun, and most beautiful open world. You can't tell me that this is the most fun game. That's not your judgment to make, is, Xbox boy. When it comes to is Xbox it coming Pass, to the one, though? I guarantee that's a no, so, so I'm going to be stuck I'll with see you all Forza in Horizon 4. Later this year. They're not even going to say, okay. Hello, Matt Booty. Straight oh, bait to gay bait. Xbox is on a mission. To bring the joy and community of gaming to everyone on the planet. That's why you, the gamer, are at the center of everything. <laughs> they are. This is maybe what they're going to talk about, but you can like get stuff on PC. Like you can stream to like PC. I think coming up soon. Now, yeah. Through the end of the year. That's what XCloud. Oh, and Hades is coming to Game Pass. Like I could have gotten that for free. Day one on Game Pass. I fucker. Yeah, but whatever. Coming out until August. From Xbox Game Studios. I mean, if not for wanting to play it for Pride Month, I could have waited. For blood, twelve minutes, and the ascent. Still. And as we look ahead to next year, although if 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 uh if they do let you do cross saves, I would totally just swap to Xbox. They do cross saves. Well, but I don't know for sure that they'll do that on Xbox. We're assuming they will. Considering that it's on Nintendo, I'm assuming they will, because Nintendo and Xbox are like holding hands right now. I'm surprised they didn't show anything about Fable yet. Pro I like Halo, but that is probably not true. I don't think it's the world's most beloved shooter. Perfect dark. What would you say is then? Um, epic open world racing. Because Call of Duty absolutely stinks. So I was gonna. I mean, it's popular, but I don't know that I'd say it's beloved. So may maybe that's true then. Like Halo isn't the most popular shooter, but it maybe is the one with like the fan base that really cares about it. Growing family of 23 Because, like, 95% of the Call of Duty community don't like any, any of the games. Yeah, they play Call of Duty and Madden and they're, like, douche bros. Yeah. But also, like, even people that play COD competitively are just, like, they don't actually like the game. Where you'll find the greatest games, the most dedicated developers, and the most passionate <laughs> My friend just messaged me saying, holy shit, Forza looks so good. <laughs> so... Before I go, there's one more thing. Take a look at this brand new original game from the Arcane team at Bethesda, the studio that created Prey and Dishonored. Skyrim 2. Arcane created something new. Skyrim 2. An open world immersive shooter that you can play alone or with your friends. Okay, not Skyrim 2, his Xbox exclusive. And like exclusive. Starfield, this game will be an Xbox exclusive. Okay, make me interested. I'm not necessarily by the description of a shooter. Oh, copyrighted music. Seriously? Yeah, it actually says the title of the song. Fucking <sighs> okay, Xbox. You it's did. Cyberpunk 2078 since 2077 went so badly. That's still not even on the PlayStation Store. <laughs> I, if I go into CEX, though, there's like 10 copies on the PS4. If I want to go buy it physically, I can do. I bet, yeah. Having a version 1.0 of the game is also a good thing. Just because then you can like... Uh, maybe not, though, for Cyberpunk, considering how busted it was. Yeah, but having a version 1.0, so then you can be like, look at this terrible game and how terrible it is. Sure, I guess, yeah, for just for like posterity. For, like, not really collection purposes, but like, what's the fancy word for it? Posterity? Like, like documenting it? Yeah, documentary purposes. This does not look amazing or special. Yeah, I'm just more confused, if anything. Oh, vampires. Okay. I can't tell if he's supposed to be hot or not. Yeah, neither can I. They're really weird and gangly. 
long legs. Yeah. Yowie arms. That's what I wish I had. Okay, Tig says not hot. Okay. Yeah, I I'm gonna I'm gonna say not hot. I'm gonna say I can't decide, honestly. You just wanna get manhandled. Like you would know. I would. Would you and I I would uh to any of the possible questions that you are posing. I'm not posing anything. Or am I? And what, they have a sunlight gun? Oops, I got distracted. Uh, you didn't miss much. It's been Halo. Forza looked Ooh. surprisingly pretty, and then like a lot of bullshit that I don't care about. Uh, just Aloe and me talking about like diddling each other. As usual. Stream dads aren't around. <laughs> yes, and the music is copy. Is the music still going? No. Okay. The music was there for like five seconds. Okay, I'll unmute now then. Nice like laser umbrella. Again, like I said earlier, this just feels like another generic shooter. Yeah, with a generic enemy. The girl is like psychic or whatever, and there's vampires, but it's not that unique or interesting. I mean, like. There's no unique idea that hasn't been done. They need to like sell you on what does it taste like? a like something cool. Like even if it's been done, just sell us on something cool, but they're not doing that. They're just like they just keep pumping out these shooters. Sure thing, Ed Brown, bro. That's a good one. Do you think things will ever go If there's people like coming after to attack you, then like why are you wearing ripped jeans? For the aesthetics. Redfall Summer 2022. This looks extremely generic. Yeah, not impressed. And and that's it. That's like their big end of show thing. Xbox it. Who's the the cast is what's gonna sell this game? I guarantee. It. Like voice cast, you mean? No, just like people be like, ooh, character, and then buy it. Well, that's what I'm saying, though, is that they're not, like, doing a good job of endearing me to any of these characters or making them feel cool or unique. Yeah. Okay, well, is this... No, this isn't Fable. This is just a no, recap. This is a recap, yeah. Yeah, what so... Was, what was the arachnophobia game? Uh, I'm sure it'll get to it in it's, a minute. It's the bug, the bug one. Like, backyard... Backyard fight it a bug. Says, it says the names of them. Oh, it's Grounded. That's what it's called. Grounded. Yeah, this is basically exactly what I expected. Um, Halo, although not not as much Halo news as I had hoped for. Yeah. They didn't. They showed multiplayer, and that was like it. And confirmed that multiplayer and single player are launching at the same time, like any self-respecting fucking video game would. Well, yeah, but apparently that's a problem for them. And for Halo Five, they were like. Hey, sorry, we ran out of time. So, like, here's single player and like some multiplayer, and then we'll launch like more multiplayer later. I was just gonna say it's because in recent uh, times, Call of Duty has been releasing the multiplayer like uh, three months before the actual game comes out. That's dumb. I like that's released the multiplayer as like a beta. Uh, that's probably set like a really month. bad precedent. They release it for like a month as like a beta for the fans to test it out, and then like two months later the full game comes out. So, so yeah, Halo, uh, Forza looks surprisingly pretty, several generic shooters, couple cool smaller games that like we already knew about, but really there was- oh, Battlefield also looked kinda cool. There wasn't really a lot here though. I feel like... I feel like I'm gonna get made fun of 
saying the only games I really cared too much about in this was Stalker 2. Um, i trying to remember the name of it. Forza. And. Slime Rancher 2. Slime Rancher 2. <laughs> yep. The only ones that matter are the ones with hot guys. I There Slime weren't any. Rancher's, Slime Rancher. I still need to buy the first one. I just. It was free on something at some point. Yeah, but something is only ever free with massive quotation marks. There's a hidden cost somewhere. <laughs> free, free if you're subscribed to like whatever service. It was. I think it's probably Xbox. I well, think I probably have the first one on Xbox. Oh my god, are they actually selling what the fuck? Xbox mini fridge? Oh, please tell me I can buy this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this That's, is really happening. I'm some, buying it. Someone was like very self-aware about the console <laughs> design and then managed to like pitch this idea to sales and marketing. Did you see the original Xbox fridge? No. Like like they, a ri like a, the first Xbox? No, they had a, a Series X shaped fridge, like a full-size one, but they only made like two of them. This, they say watch, 2021, I'm gonna buy this next year when it comes out. Watch some no, parent, like, watch some parent in five months. Watch some parent buy this for their kid, thinking it's like an actual Xbox. Yeah. It'll and then they're like, well. really, di exactly it. right. They're gonna be like, oh wow, this is like a hundred dollars. That's so cheap compared to like how it should be. So like, what a deal I just found, and then their kid opens it up and is like, This is a fridge, you idiot boomer. This is a fridge, but it's incredibly funny. I'm buying it. We can- you can get the Xbox fridge, the KF console, just get like, all decked out in food stuff. I don't want the KFC console. <laughs> I kinda do, just for funnies. The KFC console is literally just a PC with like a 2030 in it. Not, a 2030, bro, come on. 3080 in it. Fight, they just nailed it. Like, We're just getting the post show now. Who is this by? Right. What did it just dump me into? Okay. Did you, did you click on something? It auto brought me to something. I, this is probably like IGN. Yeah, IGN. They're just talking over the trailer. This isn't actually anything new, so I'll just like leave it on mute in the background for visuals. Okay. Um, yeah, so it is 1.30, so we got 45 minutes to kill until Square Enix. Cool. I'm a little worried about the Square Enix one, just because I don't want it to be talking about Final Fantasy VII and me get spoilers, because I still haven't finished it. I don't think they will. They might talk about, they might show, like, trailer stuff for 16, but I don't think they're going to talk about 7. Okay. I, w I, I was hoping to have it finished by now, honestly. I said to myself, like, a couple months ago... I'm going to finish it by summer, but then university work caught up with me, and I just didn't want to play it. But uh, university officially ends on the 24th, so then after that I'm probably going to get down to business and actually play it. Yeah, you can probably be like a real serious streaming boy because you'll have time on your hands, right? Is it different from the original? It's slightly you, different. You can't even talk about that without it being spoilers. <laughs> It's it's basically the same, but it's there, like ever so slightly. Different. I don't ha, I have I you played. The original. I was gonna say it's older than you. Yeah, I know it is. Nineteen ninety seven. Um, uh, I haven't played the original, but I do have the original on. I I have the original disc for the PS one. So there there's some level of difference from the original game, but I won't yeah. get into like how much or what or why. I I know about some of the slight differences, but barely. I mean, how, like, what chapter are you on? How far did you get? Nine. I'm nearly done with nine. Okay, so that's like halfway. I think there's 18 chapters. Yeah, there's 18. Uh, so I'm halfway through. I, well, I'm more than halfway, because I know, I know how chapter nine ends. So I just mm. need to get to that and finish it. So, yeah, they're, they're showing on, on the IGN thing here, the Halo multiplayer free-to-play thing. Like I said, that's cool, because then I can just get any friend or VTuber or whatever and just be like, hey, this is free, play this with me. But also, it's going to further the stupid stuff they've done. Master Chief Collection has like a season pass now, that's weird. Halo 5 had like this weird in-game economy for one of its modes, where you would just like play and then you'd like level up and get 
uh, stuff to uh, like spend. Like you, you get like rec cards, requisition cards, so you could just like have twenty warthogs or something that you can pull out whenever you want. Uh, which yeah. is weird. I don't know if they're doing that mode in this. They're doing some weird thing too, where you can't choose your own colors. You have to like earn shaders as like another collectible for for art dev reasons that I don't buy into. I, I have never played a Halo game, but uh, Infinite sounds Infinite. sounds like it's time to pop that cherry. Probably. I mean, so I if, if it's Xbox, free to play, I have an Xbox now, so I probably will at some point. We can be pro Halo gamers. Uh, take the pro part out of my title. I really want to chug jug with you. Taking forever to stop it. Yeah. Okay, you're right about that. Actually, like I've spent a uh, ridiculous amount of time in like both Breath of the Wild and Final Fantasy VII, just kind of like playing with the camera and taking screenshots. Playing with the camera while playing with yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I mean, I was pretty close to to doing that. Cloud looks real pretty in that game. He do. My mom literally bought me like a Cloud T-shirt just because I was simping over him. I mean, I have the hoodie that I bought. I yeah, Tig. Like though. Tig, if uh, if the multiplayer is free to play, that's real good for like streamer shit. Because I can just be like, hey, th like this Saturday or whatever, we're going to do Halo, download it, it's free to play. Well, like, like if, if they have custom games at launch, which I really hope they do, because that I think was another thing that they didn't have for five at launch. Like, that'll be that'll be so fun for for streamer shit. We can just get like a big custom game going. And then uh, mm -hmm. like like literal normal multiplayer is fun. But you can do so much fun shit in the custom games. Halo 3, when I was in high school, and that was like the heyday of that, we spent so much time in custom games. That's like all I played was like Halo custom games with either my actual friends or like online friends. So I'm really it's excited like, for uh, that. It's like a Call of Duty recently brought back stuff like Prop Hunt uh, for like nostalgia purposes, but also because it's a lot of fun. Well, are, are you also aware though that like they have something called Forge Mode, where you can lit. It's like a map editor, basically. In what game? In Halo. No, I, again, I've never played a Halo game. Yeah, so so you can, you can build things on the map. Uh, I literally never used it in Five, but you, there's there, it's like way more advanced now. You can like anchor objects together. You can like add automation and motion. So like really kind of basic, programmy stuff. Uh, you can set spawn points, vehicles, weapons, uh, parameters, like how much health somebody has or stuff like that. Like, you can get really detailed. It's like, as far as I'm aware, the gold standard for, like, an in-game editor that you can use to, like, build your own stuff. Other other than something like Dreams, you know, that's, like, oh, yeah. meant, I still need to, meant to be that. It, it's, like, the next best yeah. thing to a game like Dreams. So I bet it'll be even better here. Uh, and I am really excited to do some cool stuff with that. I'm gonna go check how much Dreams is at CEX. Oh my god, that came down in price fast. But it, I don't think it did... Light on stock. I don't think it did that well. That's another one where I, like, didn't... I saw, like, some pre-release stuff of people being excited, but I didn't, like, actually see a lot of people playing it or talking about it. Yeah. It, uh... Yeah, there's, it's cheap, but there's not many of them in stock. So, like every every location has only one in stock, uh, and there's not many locations that have it either. Okay, well, I should probably get off of this IGN thing. I'm, uh, I've just like started replaying the Xbox One, but muted the audio and put music on in the background. I think that's what I will do. Just have like something on the screen. Because I don't have an intermission thing since I don't do VTubing stuff. I don't. I don't have a just my my like just chatting scene isn't like set up with all of the stuff like with you in the hot tub. Yeah. Uh, it, it's just me, and it doesn't have Discord audio either. So I will also just put on some Harris Heller in the background. 
I don't have an intermission scene. I legit just have like my main and then I have like one specially for screen sharing. So I've just gone back and started replaying the Xbox thing, but muted the audio. Uh, what else was I going to look at? Halo, Master Chief Collection, so I want to know how much that is at CEX. That oh, you can probably, even digitally, you can probably get it for like 20 bucks or 10, like at a really particular time. I would rather, uh, if I can get games physically, I will get them physically. Yeah, sure. But also, uh, I can get them cheaper physically. There's five copies in stock. Of Master Chief? Yeah. It, at my at my nearest CEX. Uh, Is that a lot pounds. or a little? That's a lot. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 12 pounds for like... Buy... Four games, and then there's DLC for Reach and ODST. Yeah. And then Dreams is the same price. Dreams is uh, 12. Oh, you know what? Square Enix is actually probably in like their pre-stream, so we could just switch over to that too. I'll go grab the link. Yeah, I, I, I'm I pulling up my phone first. I'm just going to see like where it's at. I'd rather look at probably a graphic than like feel spent. Although what, they're playing something? Oh, it's just a graphic. They're not playing anything. Uh, oh, so I because I, I found the freaking IGN thing again. That's the 8:15 BST, which is why. Okay, why when I search for this shit is IGN the first thing that comes up and not the actual stream? Because IGN is always the first thing that comes up. Okay, it is just a graphic. Why. Yeah, we'll we'll wait then until it gets closer. I'll just let Xbox roll in the background. Yeah, I'll do the same. Kind of, uh, kind of disappointed that, that there wasn't like a really cool standout indie thing for me, like Ori or Cuphead or something. Yeah, I, I, well, I suppose Xbox like aren't really focusing on indies right now because the consoles are new, so they're wanting to like show off all the big titles, right? To, to like buy the console. Versus, I'm just like Nintendo, who have had the Switch out for four years, and they don't I'm really have much. New scrubbing out. through again. There, are, there are a few things that would maybe qualify that I just personally wasn't crazy about like psychonauts would maybe count uh slime rancher in india as well slime rancher the the little furry fighter i'm gonna quickly check how much slime rancher is on steam what else and if not on steam i'm gonna see how much it is on xbox it yeah i you're i think you're on the ball with what you said it, it very much is like look at our oh big throbbing graphics that we can slap you in the face with. It's only £4.50 on Steam. Oh, that's it's on sale. I'm actually going to go back to Halo. I want to watch this back. Is it in 4K yet? Uh, no. If they, yes. If they did it in 1080, it'll only go to... Oh, what the hell? This, the stream is in 4K, so I, I want to watch the Halo part back in 4K. I thought the stream... Last time I checked, the stream kept out at 1080p. That's While it's live, but then once the video is like sit and watchable then it's in 4k that's even weirder why can't they although that it was really it was really fast so i don't know if they had it like you know preloaded in the background and then like once the stream went down they like unlocked the video mine's just at the yakuza part right now Yo. can i check the xbox store from my pc i should be able yeah to yeah, if you use like one of the Xbox apps. Because my um, Xbox is linked to my PC, so. Right, me too. And it does get a bit confusing sometimes when I get an achievement on my Xbox and then a second later I hear it on my laptop because I use my laptop for like Discord when I'm talking. To that was happening when I was playing Assassin's Creed. My achievements, like, I was getting them, but they weren't. Some of them weren't popping on Xbox, but then I would get a pop on PC instead. Yeah, I with with the little grapple thingy in Halo, I really liked too that they were just grabbing those explosives, the fusion coils, and like tossing those around. It's like a, a free giant grenade. Apparently you can't check the Xbox store from the Xbox app, but I can on the website. There's like several 
Xbox apps on PC and one of them might do that and then another one might not. Oh damn, Slime Rancher is more expensive on Xbox than it is on PC. But well, Xbox you said it's on sale, right? Yeah, but even when it's off sale, it's more expensive on Xbox. Are you not, and you don't have like Xbox Live or anything, right? So you probably don't get all the good deals. I have Xbox Live, it's just that like games with gold is like there's never anything good. I haven't probably. Well, that's not true. I actually bought Bug Fables recently while that was on sale and yeah, Lego yeah. Incredibles. Right now, there's two 360 titles. There's like two sections too. There's like one one of the sales things is like a bunch of really dumb stuff, and then there's like another one that's like actually like newer and popular games. Oh, Slime Rancher released physically on PS4 and Xbox One. That's cool. Uh, it's two pound more expensive on the PS4 for some reason. Just like base price. Uh, at CEX, so used price. I'll check out ah. to see how much it is on there. Oh, it's cheaper on Amazon than it is at CEX. Man, I, I know I'm intending to play through all the Halo games with, with Trevor uh, and maybe other people, but I feel like I should do like a Halo lore PowerPoint sometime. In addition to the... I forgot the name of the game series. Kingdom Hearts. That one. Yeah, yeah, because because beyond the games, there's like other, there, there's like side games like Halo Wars, and then there's like books and stuff that don't have a ton of impact. But you know, like I could probably find something to justify. I let me let me back up. That looked like it was uh, like Ragnarok there, with the the chopper and the two. Sparrow Hawks or whatever. Yeah, that is almost certainly some some like new iteration of Ragnarok. The Rocky Ledge in front, that seems kinda new. But this thing is like really iconic and it has the grav lift off the front. I who knows though, it could also just be like a Forge recreation. That's the other cool thing about Forge is like you can just make old maps that you like. And then with file sharing, uh, you don't even have to do it yourself. You can just like get a version someone else has made. Uh, this gun, I want to know what it... Okay, I guess it bounces off of walls. It almost looked like it homed in on the guy. And I like the deflect. Yeah, I just want to play a ton of this. I'll oh just... damn, my CPU is pinned at 100% usage. Oh, yeah, with VC face and streaming. Apparently it's been like that the whole time. Uh... That's that's where I've been prior to my oh. new PC. Why? Okay, no, it's not anything to do with VC face and OBS. Because um, OBS is using my GPU and VC face is using my CPU. For some reason... Microsoft Edge is using 35% of my CPU. What is Edge even? A browser. Oh, that's what you're like getting the stream on? I'm gonna pause your stream and see if that changes anything. Yeah. It does, but barely. Okay, what if I pause the Xbox stream as well? Whoa, that brings it all the way down. <laughs> Okay, when I pause the Xbox stream, it brings it down from 100 to 60. Wow. So... <laughs> what if I start your stream up again? When I do that, it brings it up to 80. Okay, so... I like the samurai armor, too. It's cool looking. I'm just, I'm just gonna become a Halo channel. I'm just gonna play through all the Halos with Trevor and then <laughs> play Halo Infinite. Infinitely. I wonder if I reload this so it's no longer 
like a stream, then will it change anything? Nope. Whatever, take it out of full screen. I'm just gonna watch through this multiplayer bit a few times. Uh, I see like the burger gif. Yeah, I've been using that for a while. Oh, uh, that's like your uh, your your webcam for the day. Yeah, the the fake webcam. <laughs> the the original video is just called Burger. Uh, also, yeah, I just saw your DM about uh, Forza Horizon Five. Uh, hopefully, that means that four will come down in price because I don't think that five's going to release on the one. Uh, and I'm not about to buy a Series X. Not unless you get that OnlyFans money coming in. True, but I feel like I would rather buy a PS5. I mean, if you get enough OnlyFans money coming in, you can get both. <laughs> I was I thinking know, about that earlier, like, like yeah, but between my new PC and then both new consoles, in like, the last eight months or something, whatever, however long between last fall and now, I've spent like way too much money on gaming hardware. Yeah, I mean, I've spent a lot recently on, like if, if, if I, by recently, I mean like the past year, Wait. two years. Oh, no, Tig, Al, Al, no one has an OnlyFans, but we just joke like on the daily about like each of us starting an OnlyFans. That's debatable. What, that it's I, joking I, and not, like, planning? Yeah, but also because I have said on multiple occasions I used to have an account, but I didn't. Yeah, but, but, like, having an account, like, technically then you have one, but you you weren't, like, doing, like, hot twink content or anything. Nah, I just had it because I thought it was funny. Yeah, that's but where I'm at, like... One, just to say that I have one. I, I would very likely do the same thing. Um, and then, like, maybe someday, if I felt like it, get into porn or something. But in the short term, I'm not going to do that. And I would just have one and maybe post, like, Ryan, a foot pick or something. Ryan, I am 19. So legal. Legal child porn. Excuse you? <laughs> F FBI will be coming after you if you don't. No, I said legal. It's kosher. I don't know. What my my point my point is that like in many people's eyes, nineteen would still be a child. Because people get all fussy about age. Like a sixty year old is gonna look at like a forty year old and be like, "Wow, what a child!" And it's like, no, that's a full grown adult. What the hell, Ryan? You're like barely older than me, like yeah, a year or two. Yeah, Ryan, you're a baby to me. I'm fucking turning to dust. I'm doing the thing I just complained about where you think people slightly younger than you are babies. Tig, I'm sure at some point I'll give you plenty of temptation to simp. Eventually, in some form, I'm going to have, like, subs or something. Add the sub button... I kind of feel like I should. I want to. I want to talk to like Mo and Cass. Not yet, because the way that uh, subs work on Twitch is, uh, and like bits and stuff as well. <clears throat> Basically, if you add them now, it's highly unlikely you'll earn any money from it because they don't pay out. I'm until not you earn at least a hundred dollars. I'm not worried about payout. I'm more thinking like. Would that be better for growth? Yeah, but and also, when you... You have to have a certain amount of subs to have a certain amount of emotes. So if you only... Like, if... You have to hit, like, certain goals. So once you open the sub button at first, you will only have one emote. Right. I... Well, it's it's not something that I'm going to just do haphazardly, but I'm I'm curious about it. But on the other side of the fence, you have... The, the ultra rare OS boys who are doing very well for themselves without any of that. Yeah. So, I feel like, like 
clearly it can be done. Yeah, there... I, I, I feel like a good... I, I don't know if this is like a good progression or whatever, but basically... Um, either... Because with Patreon and YouTube, you can set the minimum price as 99 cents. Which right. I feel is like a very welcoming price point. I if if I were gonna do that, I would probably do like a lot of different tiers, make it as granular as I can. Cause yeah, there are people who would maybe they wouldn't pay you five bucks every month, but they would pay you a dollar every month. Uh, and That's maybe that maybe that could get them something like a, like one or two emotes or something. Yeah, and that, that's what I do because, like, um, I pay for Dank Pod's Patreon because you get four extra videos a month, uh, and he only has three tiers, which are one dollar, five, and ten, uh, and you get the same rewards for all of them. Uh, apart from five and ten, you get your name displayed at the end of the video, but like, mm. so many people pay for that tier that it's just it goes it by and you'll never see your name ever. It seems weird to me that people care about that, but clearly they do, so I'll probably capitalize on that at some point. Yeah, but I think it's main... I, I don't think people do that for that reason, though. I think it's mainly because... Wanting uh, to support them? Yeah, you, you give them a bit more. That's why Tier 2 and Tier 3 subs exist, even though uh, on Twitch they take 50% of the money. Right. On YouTube they take a much smaller cut. Um... Facebook just had some. I saw some headline where it, they take none. The creator gets a hundred percent somehow. Oh wow! A YouTube take a uh, a sizable cut at first, but then as you become a bigger creator, they'll take a smaller and smaller cut. So originally it's forty sixty sixty percent goes to the creator, but as you become a bigger creator, more of it goes towards you. That kind of makes sense. Twitch, I can I can uh, see the thought awesome. process there. Which just absorb everything they can get because they're run by Amazon, so of course. You're a baby to me, Ryan says, ooh, wouldn't mind a daddy king? Listen, Ryan. I, I don't think he's watching your stream, so he won't see that. Well, but he can hear me, though. He can hear it, though. Yeah. Yeah, listen, Ryan, if you're looking for a daddy king, uh... You know, hop on, hop on over to my channel sometime. We'll see what we can do for you. Cheating. On you. <laughs> With your friend. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we could have a three way. I'm good. Good at three ways, I bet. Oh, I God. Can't, I can't even. I can't even. <laughs> I feel like my webcam is probably struggling with my avatar a bit because I have shrunk down in my chair. I have that problem too, yeah. I have to sit up so often. Every so often. Really in a hot tub, yeah. We'll just pack all the boys in here like sardines. That's a very small one though. I don't think it'll fit. Sounds like a porn video. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's many porn videos. One second. One second. Al is going to Google it right now. Yeah, I, this Left 4 Dead thing too that's playing right now, I could see that kind of being fun. I never really played the original, like like one or two, I've never really just, I've never played Left 4 Dead. Ryan says threesome, so I'm not hearing a no. You what? Ryan, Ryan just said threesome and I said I'm not hearing a no. Oh. Oh, yeah, I I don't know, Chad, if you noticed, I'm sure you probably did. I have nipples. <laughs> one of them is covered by a towel on my shoulder, but the other one uh, next to Aloe within rubbing distance is out and milkable. I haven't modified the textures, so... I did. I wanted to make sure I had nips out for chat. You gotta give the people what they want. 
Bara titty. I don't think anything about my Not avatar even. is Bara. Not even. There is. Tig, you can. Area. You can feel free to go full pervert in here. That's that's what we're all about. My stream isn't quite like that. <laughs> not yet, at least. Not not when I'm not there. Not yet, at least. I am so excited for you to just go full slot. Give me three months. Yeah, too. I, I need to get, like, a Majora's Mask graphic for that. Like, three months remain. <laughs> and then oh, just Majora's keep... Majora's Mask graphic for every time I bring it up. Yeah, right. Because th th there's a lot of shit that we just, like, keep talking about. So I need, like, Twink Tech support. I need oh my God. a countdown for your move. Uh, other stuff. I just opened a packet of sweets, and it's literally all apple flavor. They know you're a twink. It's entirely up. Oh, there's one orange. And that's it. Okay, then. Apple teenies are like the gay drink, so I guess... I guess apple I is like... Is. Uh, it, I don't even know either, because I don't drink alcohol, but I guess it's like a martini with apple in it or something. Just based on the name. I but I, I don't know, like, what is it? Yeah, I don't actually know what's in a martini. <laughs> Like I've said before, people at university were like actually shocked when I said that I've never drank or smoked before. Yeah, because you're like built into our culture. you're you're a good little boy. No, it's because I live in fear. <laughs> That's basically the same thing. The only the only way there is a good little boy or girl is if they're like being oppressed. But I'll, I'll give you a little kiss anyway for being a good boy. I don't know if you noticed, I've just I've just been kissing you every so often. I've noticed, but I just thought it was like <laughs> you moving your head to the side. No, 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 that's fully intentional. Because like, I'm not actually looking at my camera face on. So like, sometimes I might move my head over to look at chat on my other monitor. Yeah, like yeah, I do that sometimes too, but... Joe is creeping hard. I'm yes, fine. I am. Um, just, just wait until we, uh, we get those Japanese sex toys that like translate okay. the the movement. You know the ones I mean. I do. <laughs> then we can take things to the next level. Uh, yeah, Tig. The the pirate game is making a smart move and bringing in Pirates of the Caribbean. That's what I was saying before when this happened the first time, is that, like, Assassin's Creed 4, the pirate game, uh, yes, this is Sea of Thieves. Assassin's Creed 4, like, the best compliment people gave that game is that it felt like you were playing Pirates of the Caribbean, and so now Sea of Thieves is letting you play Pirates of the Caribbean. I need to Google how you pronounce that word. Caribbean, Caribbean, I think, potato, potato. Caribbean, I don't know. that's it. I just I, I I knew that there was a pro, like the way that we say it, but I forgot what how we said it. Both sound right to me. Oh, I've I've forgotten it again already. Caribbean. Yeah, that's it. Think 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 like caribou coffee. I I don't drink coffee. I know. So I didn't know that was a thing. You know what the Caribbean is, right? Just the region. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just bad with English. Sure, no worries. I don't know how I made it this far in life, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, uh, unfortunately, Tig, I'm not personally very interested in it, so I don't think it would be, like, a stream thing. What, Sea of Thieves? Yeah. I think Dan and Ryan both play it, but I don't have it. Because in, in theory, it. it's on Game Pass, so I could, but I, like, don't care. So I probably won't play it. Although Pat has mentioned it, so maybe he'll roll me into it at some point. But I think he's also... Pat? Alright. I think he's, like, done with it now, though. I don't think he, like, plays it anymore. 
Uh, Twitch.tv slash level up Joe, Ryan. Yeah, come on over. It's Hi. it's real, real horny and dirty, and we're in a hot tub. What, how much? The, uh, oh, not Thieves of Seas. Sea of Thieves. Thieves of Seas. What, oh, I spelled it wrong. No, how do you, how do you spell Thieves? T-H-I-E-V-E-S? T-H-I... Oh, I before E, I before E except after C, and then at whatever other random times our language decides to be stupid. Yeah, but I before E but something to do with C. That doesn't always work. Right, I know, that's what I'm saying. Is it is that supposed to be the rule and it works a lot of the time, but not always, because our language is a hellscape. Yeah, because it's literally just a combination of like 17 different languages. The. <laughs> the? The. Wait, that was too fast. Uh, if you're if you're asking for my stream, Ryan, I will type it in chat for you. Well, you could have just typed in chat and then your name's there. Right, but that's assuming that my... Well, yeah, I guess that is how Twitch works, isn't it? Yeah. Whatever. As a non-native English speaker, I found it confusing. I think it is. I think... Like, very commonly when you hear people talk about learning different languages, English is the one that, like, has the most random nonsense exceptions to the rules that we have. English is my only language. I don't even know how to speak it. There's also a bunch of stuff that, like... Uh... How do you make that? Uh... VC Face and Vroid Studio. Yeah. And the hot tub I got from Twitter, because there are people that are like, hey, free free hot tub assets for your stream. Free hot tub PNG, and then the pink water. Why is it pink? Uh, just because pink and blue is my stream colors. Oh, right. Because it's gay. Special food coloring. Yeah, I, I put some food coloring in the boy soup. <laughs> Query Nick starts in 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, so yes, Ryan, I am a VTuber, so I do I do this. I'm not always green. I'm doing different colors for Pride Month, and I did green today because Microsoft and Xbox. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm only a VTuber on other people's streams. Well, so far this stream, right? This is your first time? Yeah. This is, uh... This is, this is me taking Aloe's VTubing virginity live on stream. You say these things full well knowing I can't respond to them. That's part of the fun. The, I, I get I get now, currently, the part, the fun part where you can't respond, and then in three months, when you're a whore, uh, then you can... <laughs> then you can just say whatever you want, and that'll also be fun. got an Instagram notification. Uh, yeah, Ryan, I also had some fun graphics for the stream, which I'll play again. I have straight bait. Straight bait. Because the Xbox conference was very straight. And then I also have... Uh, that was cringe. I have Danny Phantom saying that was cringe. Because that just kind of fell into my lap, and I was like, I love, that's funny. I love the I Heart My Truck shirt. That it's yeah. Like Thanks for the follow, Ryan. Sorry, I jump scared you, Tig. Yeah, what all? What all do I have in him? I have. Dream me. I have a football under the arm. I heart my truck shirt. A uh, a hat that says sports ball. Oh. Just it's just a generic. I just searched like sports ball logo, and that's what came up. So the hat says sports ball, and then there's like like a beer flying in the background with like stuff coming out. Oh, I don't know. It, the same thing. It's, it's probably a, it's maybe a little bit loud, yeah. So that's fair. I'm so dumb, not as dumb as me. I guarantee it. You're all lovely, and Great. measurable intelligence is a farce. Oh, it, yeah, because there's IQ, but means absolutely nothing. Right, well, and, and also the ways we, like, standardize testing and stuff is bullshit. Yeah. But also, the way that, like, 
people with low IQ will brag about thinking that they're really smart when they're probably the dumbest in the room. Yeah. Like, I remember seeing, do you know those um, videos that uh, are like, who has the whatever in the room, you have to figure out who they are and you win a thousand? No, I don't know if I know what you mean. Uh, well, the, anyway, there was one for like, who has the highest IQ in the room, and you have to figure out who they are, uh, and then vote them out. Uh, and if they're still in the circle, then, or whatever, like, then, uh, then they don't get the money. And uh, the person this... with the lowest IQ was the one that was like bragging and thinking that they were the smartest and saying that they were thinking that the smartest person was actually the dumbest. I, is, carry is this the thing where they do like, like, who's the gay? Who's like, yeah. a hidden gay? Yep. Okay, then, then yes, I know what you're talking about. Similar idea, but it, it, I, I think it's done by like a different channel because they don't have like the box with the LEDs. Circle. What about circle? I mean, I could think of some dirty things. Somehow, pot. Uh, what the hell are any of those things? Pottermore. Yeah, that's right. You don't know Harry Potter. Uh, Pottermore is like the website for people who are most of the time too into Harry Potter, and that's not a dig at you, Tig. There are just like a lot of people who are way too into Harry Potter. Oh, uh, so it's it's right like here. yeah, right. It's like what house am I? What's my fucking my my thing? My Patronus. Uh, uh, blah 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 blah. And then Ravenclaw is the house that's like the smart the smart people. All right, I've been asked that too many times by like random millennials online, and I'm like, I just don't want to take the test because I don't care. But I feel like at some point someone's gonna force me to take that test. I feel like I maybe did at one point just for shits and giggles, and I forgot immediately because I didn't actually care. Uh, I am excited for that Harry Potter game that's coming out, even though J.K. Rowling is a turf. <laughs> The game looks really cool. You just want Hagrid? <laughs> yeah, I it's I'll have a lot of fun playing that and I will just hope that Isn't most of the money is point? not No, Brain Dead implies like ignorance or apathy or a lack of targeted hate. She's like actively just like trans women aren't real women, blah 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 blah. And then in hindsight, there's some stuff in the books and movies that's like maybe a little bit racist. And then there's there's things like there's a single black character, there's like a single Asian character, and then like everybody else is white. Ryan, why did you just DM me an essay? <laughs> On what? Uh, all the games he wants. <laughs> uh, maybe he's looking for you to oh be a sugar daddy. God, Ryan, you do not need that many Call of Duty games. Please. Ryan, you don't even need one Call of Duty game. Just play Halo with us instead. No, no, no. Get Black Ops 2 and then ignore the rest. No, no, no. Get Halo and ignore Black Ops. No, because, like, Black Ops is actually pretty decent. But then... I mean, yeah, I realize it's very popular. Uh... Red Dead, that was supposed to come with my Xbox, but it didn't. I have the, the box, it, so it's a Red Dead 2 bundle, but it just didn't. What is, what is Red Dead Online? Is that a whole separate game, or is that like a mode? That's a mode. It's basically uh, GTA, but Cowboys. Okay. Um, Square Enix is almost ready, so I'm switching over to that. Okay, I will do the same. And you, you got the link, right? So you have the DMCA-friendly one? Uh, if that's the one that you sent me, then yeah. It'll say it in the title. So, hopefully... Hopefully we don't have to fucking mute this one 80 times like I did the last one. We won't. I mean, I'm, I I didn't even really... No, it. and I probably didn't need to sometimes, but I'm just... I'm just paranoid. Yeah, Tig, I totally feel you. I, I make it through like 10 minutes of a show per night now. Uh, but yeah. I'm glad that people managed to show up, even though this is not at all my usual time slot. Yeah. It's my it's my usual time slot, though. 
I, yeah, I, just, I just wanted I just wanted to get up in your slot. Bro. <laughs> That's how is that the first time you said bro this stream? Uh, I guess we've just been more focused on games than being horny. Is there any recommends for what games? Based off of what we watched, Allo liked what was that first one with an S, the Russian one. Oh wait, uh, Stalker Two. Stalker Two. Allo liked Stalker Two. Uh, I thought Halo was cool. We both. I thought Halo was cool. We both thought. Forza was cool, even though I don't give a shit, it's just the graphics are pretty. I convinced you that Forza was cool, because originally you were making fun of me for liking it, but then- Well, it's still a- it's still- it's like still a straight game, but it does look pretty. Um, Aloe, like Slime Rancher, yeah. uh, Hades is not new in general, but new to Xbox, we'd both recommend that, I think. Yeah. Uh, much of it, I would highly recommend it. Battlefield 2042 is another shooter that I don't care about, but that also looked really fucking pretty. Yeah. Uh, Diablo 2 Remastered looked okay. That you know, that's it's a fresh coat of paint. If you like Diablo, you'll like it. If you don't, you you won't. Uh, Psychonauts 2 could be interesting. I haven't played it, but it's like on my list to do. someone there you liked yeah it honestly not a super super interesting thing it's a lot oh starfield i guess would be another one we didn't see a ton but i feel like that'll be cool because it's uh a game i'd like to play but i can't because bethesda I laptop. it depends on the specs of your laptop because like my computer is a laptop but it has a 2016 a core i7 in it so i can mm. run a lot of games i i saw on on twitter today or last night, uh, not anyone I know personally, but just something where like a friend of a friend had liked a post or something, uh, and it was someone with like a haul of all the different parts for their PC, and uh, I was like, wow, like you got 3080, you got like all the good stuff, and then it's like like i9 processor or something, and I was like, ooh, you went Intel. Yeah, well, I mean, to be fair, Intel isn't terrible. They're still good. I I, mean, I run a Core i7. It's just that I think AMD is generally better for heavier workloads. Are like are the new ones bad objectively, or are they just not better? Because like, what is it you said that like the i11 is like worse than the i10? Eleventh gen uh, sucks, uh, and Core i9s can often be thermal throttled so hard that they act like Core i7s. So you might as well have just bought an i7. Meaning they get hot and then the performance suffers? Yeah, so like, on the old MacBooks, the Core i9s would get so hot that they would thermal throttle down to being the same performance as a Core i7. So it was just gotcha. a waste of money. What was, what was Aragami? Brian just mentioned a list of games from there and I don't remember what Aragami was. I don't remember that being on there. Yeah, t tell us, Ryan, because I'm curious. Uh, Among Us is fine, oh, no, it's Among Us. These are all games that are uh, that he wants, not all that are on there. Oh. Well, I think... Because Hello Neighbor wasn't on there, I know that. Okay. I, I just got him up from Square Enix saying that they're going live. <laughs> Thanks. We got it covered, Square. I don't uh, remember... The, I, oh, oh, there's also, I think, uh, a Final Fantasy, like... Like, Neo Dark Souls game that they might talk about. So that would that would be really exciting if they did. Uh, that that and like Final Fantasy 16 are like my hopes for this talk. Yeah. I assume you watched like the old trailers of 16. Yeah, when the Series X and the PS5 were first coming out. Uh, right. They both did their presentations. They both showed off Final Fantasy 16. Oh, here we go. No, I'm slightly behind you again. Aragon was shown oh. on this. Uh, look like Assassin's Creed in Japan. Okay. Uh, I can't quite picture that in my head, but that sounds conceptually familiar. I also I still need to play Ghost of... Uh, is it Ghost of Tsushima? Am I saying yeah. that right? Yeah. I'm, I'm waiting for that to like be on sale at some point, just because my backlog is really big, but I want to play that. It looked really pretty. It was like extremely well-received. 
my backlog is like 500 games long. I bought like an infinite number of games that I've just never played. I mean, the, yeah, there's like tiers on mine, like things that I like actively intend to play at some point soon. Although even soon can still be like a year or something. Uh, and then there's like yeah. other things, and then there's like things that I don't really care about. For me, there's things I'm gonna play uh, at some point that I just haven't gotten around to. And then Gran Turismo 4 for the PS2 because I just don't care. Uh, it, I don't care for it. Tig Phoenix Rising is in that same camp for me. I'm not as excited about it as Ghost of Tsushima, but if it's like 15, 20 bucks at some point, I might get it. Uh, Cause I've heard good things about that too, but honestly, it, there are a lot of other games that are like more appealing to me. So it'll, it'll be a bit before I probably get to that. And you know that could that could change if if they put it on like Game Pass or they give it away as a free game that could like instantly bump it up higher just because I don't have to pay for it. Here we go. Yeah, hi mom. We're we're tubbing. Gaming. All right, let's go ahead and get some sound. What does this RP mean in like ra ra rating pending? All oh, right. Uh, yeah. So. Good afternoon, everyone. This looks it's like Matt Mercer here, and I'm back as your host of Square. Oh, hello, Matt Mercer. Today we yeah, this is only 17 plus. Of the show for you with new game announcements, updates, and exciting news from our studios across the globe. So that looks almost Persona-like. That's what I just said. Montreal. We hope you enjoy the show. What do they have oh, in Montreal? Damn. Hey, that's pretty. So proud of you. Oh my god. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? Those reflections, Jesus. Oh, this is Guardians. Oh, I remember oh. I remember something was happening with this. That's a part of you. I'm, I'm I'm intrigued. I ha I never played that Avengers thing. Partners of the Galaxy? What? No, Rocky. Now he looks oh, like I a douche though. Licensed music has been replaced. You legends. Yeah. So we got fined. We appear to be six thousand nine hundred and sixty-three units short. I like Rocket's little little Viking beard. Yeah. Yeah. If this is like an action game, I would play this. Yeah, that's the, the same problem as in the Avengers one. They don't look like the movie people, which seems like a weird, dumb choice. But it's maybe like contract bullshit. Definitely. You want monster? I'll show you monster. No, we just robe. Keep your pants. They probably have to pay to use the actor's likeness. Yeah. Oh, I need some stuff right? back on. Maybe we can work something out. Theater. You had one job. Well, I still totally feel like this is gonna get like DMCA, even if it's supposed this, to be okay. <laughs> this time the uh, subtitles default to German. I made no such commitments. In less than three cycles. I like whatever guitar thing we're hearing though. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can do this together. It sounds like the Power Rangers team. I don't know. You, you're not like a Marvel guy, right? I've never seen a Marvel movie. I, part of me kind of wants to, again, like everything else, find like some people and then play through like the Avengers game. But there's there are some problems that just can't be fixed. Like it's a looter game. I hate looter games. Oh, it's Space Dog and a llama. I like the llama. <laughs> hey, tentacle porn. What? Hi, my name is Olivier Prou, senior producer here at Idos Montreal. His Olivier Prou. Nothing has 17 silent letters. He's, he's French. That's why. And reimagine it into a single player story driven. Or I'm, I'm assuming it sounds French. It's our own fresh take on the Guardians. And something that's really unique to our game is that you get to be Peter Quill. As Star Lord, you're constantly in the middle of the action as you try to lead 
this band of misfits. But today, I'm really, really excited to have all of you join us on this journey, and you'll hear more about French the Canadian, team right? behind this project. Right, let's do this. I've always loved Marvel's cosmic characters. Uh, growing up as a kid, I read them, enjoyed them, loved them. I uh, had the opportunity to write for Marvel. Actually, speaking of Avengers, I'm sure they were talking about that too. I think they're talking about like and kind of adding Black Panther to it or something. From Marvel's past. The opportunity here was to build a team, but to make it all underdogs so that the reader would think, oh my gosh, how is this team going to survive? And that became the Guardians of the Galaxy comic, which we loved. I don't think that's how. How readers work. You don't say, how are they going to survive? You say, oh, it's plot. So, of course, they're going to survive. Yeah, the Guardians movies are really funny. I, I've never sat and, like, tried to rank what my favorites are, but they're, they're definitely up there. Looking at the samples that Bardos were kind enough to show me, I think he's fantastic and absolutely in the spirit of what these characters are. What makes the gameplay experience unique to me is no matter in what phase of the game you are, whether you're in exploration or you're fighting, the guardians are constantly around you and you so did, feel alone. Well, did they say, the do you play as the others ever or is, do you just play as Star-Lord? And you will have to adapt to it. You are literally part of the Guardians of the Galaxy. The decisions you'll make will have light-hearted to hunting repercussions, and the game will react to what you do and say. Gamora, no killing teammates! Says who? It's literally in your contract! I made no Literally just said you are playing the Star Lord, so... You are playing the, well, the Star Lord and you're using your... That's what I'm wondering, yeah. It kind of sounds like it's just him, but that seems like a weird choice. He's very agile on the battlefield. He can slide and over with his jet boots. Of course, he has his elemental blasters that have different powers. There's a little thing in the corner that we saw for a second there, so maybe that kind of looks like you're using them as like assist moves or something. Heroes for hire. Gardeners of the Galaxy. Misfits, no. sponsored by the Misfits podcast. The story is about a group of misfits, the Guardians. In our world, they've been together for less than a year. They create. I love the little Groot thing on Rocket's beard too. Insignificant. That's, that's imagine having like a little like carved thing of your best friend like on your face at all times. That's so cute. Very interesting villains in the Marvel franchise. And when you're starting to work on a story like this, you get to get your pick of which ones will make the best for this story. That gives us the opportunity to bring in some that are well known but some that are also not all that well known. What Ados is getting so right about- Those are the two options. Everything is either a potato or not a potato. You're also bringing an amazing imagination to it. You're gonna see planets and characters that are gonna blow your mind. Interpreting it in its own way, I think makes it feel incredibly fresh and exciting. It's not a matter of trying to replicate the comic or trying to replicate the film. It's trying to take the Why medium you're working in and make the bad, best version of Guardians out of that. Was like one of they the made it most fun, they made it rock and roll. They delivered everything Because it's not... In a Guardians game. It, it's like unassuming and like kind of ugly. Yeah, but then 95% of people are addicted to McDonald's cars, so... I, yes, I could eat potato every day. Yeah, exactly, and I basically do. Oh, development footage. We actually get some gameplay. Or do we? Is it just going to sit on this screen for forever? I feel well. I feel like we just got our gameplay in the trailer. Uh, maybe they are. I don't know. Thirty-seven units. We appear to be 6,963 units short. We intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. What about selling Gamora's crap? Why did they have to make him look like such a douche, though? I've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. Me. Quarantine zone was always a half out My on figurines well. are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't Whoa. be bothered to make no sacrifice. <laughs> yeah, press X to, to solve your domestic dispute. Press X to make everyone shut up. I think we should hear our group for once. I am Groot. You know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. 
Groot, are you yes, he is. Offering to I don't know what he's offering. No, he is not oh. offering that, okay? It could work. <laughs> Sell Groot. Sell him for money and then friends. break him out or whatever. Sell their friends. Why? Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. I vote we sell Groot. <laughs> I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Can we just two votes each? Do neither. Peter. Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we uh, we get it. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. You say the weather patterns of Seknarf Nine are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. <laughs> flying the wrong way. Nah, he's not flying at all. Guys, relax. Just one minor adjustment. I ever mentioned he how much I hate rain? rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. I want to see Thanos. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good. We've already um, got the beast. All that's left. I mean, probably not, because the movie would be like fully rendered and everything. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't vote so good. Whoa! Out there. So Harry's stuck in the same position. Like She's got Suicide really good hairspray. I was gonna say, maybe oh. she has future hairspray. Nah, I get really glue. Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some right, yeah. I. That's where I'm at. He looks like a douche and not even a hot douche. We ain't seriously walking through this. Not that I'm. Particularly wet for Chris Pratt. Like, he's funny, but the other Chris's are hotter. Uh, Chris Evans, Captain America. Chris Pine from the Star Trek movies. Chris Evans radio? Maybe, but Chris Evans is uh, also Captain America. And then who's who's the third one? There's a third Chris. Oh, uh, Chris Hemsworth, <laughs> Thor. Chris Evans is a you UK television presenter. Before. No, 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 no. Captain America, Chris Evans is hot. The other three are all pretty hot. Uh, you know he I does have America's know. ass. I was just thinking you were talking it's about the comedian. No, I'm talking. I'm talking all about people in movies that are Chris's. Gelatinous cubes. He has been in movies. I Chris Pine is probably the hottest, and then. Chris Evans and Chris Hemsworth are probably about tied for me, and then Chris Pratt. Uh, and yeah, Spider Twink is also very hot. He's just not a Chris. Yeah, yeah. Chris Hemsworth is probably like. Captain the America is the most punchable person. Oh, uh, why? He see he seems really nice. And the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. Dead end. That's just great. It's a retractable bridge. They use them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. Too bad one of you doesn't have rocket boots. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face. Are they really doing this? Use your fucking rocket boots. He doesn't have any shoes on. What? No, not Rocket. Uh, Star Lord. Peter. It's okay. He'll land on his feet. Ooh. Uh, I guess that only applies to cats. You sons of dogs! Scut busting ass! I am not familiar with these words. Order the beast to do its job. Rocket, come on, man! Ram it, fast face. Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by five percent. I want ten. Whoa. Okay, deal. Cute bridge. Thanks for the bridge, Rocket. If 
All, like, there's so many other ways they could have done that. Star Lord could have rocket booted across. Groot could have, like, Groot could have grown, like, a tree across. They didn't have to throw a rocket. Also, I think Rocket sometimes has a jetpack. Uh, maybe he doesn't hear, but, like, that's why he's called Rocket Raccoon, because he is a raccoon with a jetpack. I guess you have to get that later. Literally flying right now as Star Lord. Oh. Um. What's up? Uh, my stream just buffed. Guys, huddle up. The the Guardian stream. Yeah, I'm gonna reload the page. Right, yeah. Now he flies. Oh, wow, look at that frame rate. It's getting a little chunky for me, too, but it hasn't fallen apart. Why are the subtitles back in German? And why does it say Spain, Spain? <laughs> Spanish, Spanish, Spain. Oh, is there two types of Spanish? Probably more than that, actually. I wonder how much of this gameplay is orchestrated oh, to the actual right. game. The point of I, I don't fuck. know what you mean by that. You mean uh, I think... Right, I think he means, like, how much is... ...really... ...gameplay, or how much is them, like... ...doing, like, vertical slice tricks. Um... Did, they said it was running an engine. Maybe Gamora's right. We should try selling Groot instead. In theory, they could always be lying. But this nothing here seems like so crazy. I would believe that this is all just an engine. Yeah. Yeah. And and like running normally. Yeah, especially considering that like some of like the later PS4 games look this good. You hang tight there, bud. I mean, I, this looks good, but not like mind blowing or anything. Yeah, no, this looks a bit like. A 4K Drag. PS4 game, just like a PS4 Pro Lord, game, I guess. No. What, why? Also, your stream is way ahead of mine now, so I don't know what happened. Oh, uh, if you reload, try going, let like manually moving around on the video and trying to get. Yeah, Ryan, you're right. Her head literally just Remember, doesn't move. Buddy, like me. And and that that could be like a detail that's like a development Not thing. Bad. Not bad. I'm gonna try refreshing again. So, oh, I do have the chat open. This thing. We are that 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. We got this! Nah, I'm still behind. There as well. What, uh, what's going on with your avatar? There's like a bar on top. Do I need to recrop it? Well, there's nothing on my end. Wait, let me check. Yeah, this. no, I... I don't know why that's different for me now. I'd get that. What? The uh, Guardians of the Galaxy thing. Oh, actually, if they're Guardians remastering... Galaxy, one, two, three, four... They're doing five and six? If they're remastering everything through six, six that would be cool. Yeah, one through six on Steam and mobile phones. I guess... Steam I would like it on console, phones. but... Yeah, it's too bad it's just Steam. They might bring it to console eventually, depending on how well it does on Steam. Where are you in here? In Legend of Mana, here we go. Here you are. Yeah, that's weird. The crop, the crop is just, like, different now. Oh, yeah. Next, it does that for Earth's me sometimes with some things. It was really annoying. Fight to defend the world in Marvel's Avengers. The team at Crystal Dynamics is excited to share the latest updates with you, including new mission types and a growing roster of heroes. Oh, here oh. we go, Avengers. Now I totally lost you. Avengers, oh, there you are. That super weapon at all costs. 
Yeah, you're a fair bit ahead of me. Okay, that's better. It's beautiful, isn't it? I'm frozen on your stream, and that's not VC face either. VC face is working fine. Um, you seem fine actually in Discord, so let me just like oh. toggle. Oh, it, now it won't capture Discord? Like, why? Now it... What? There it goes, now it's working. Yeah, but you're still frozen. I, I wasn't for a second. Am I frozen in Discord or on OBS? No, just in OBS. Uh, delete the capture and make a new one. I don't want to delete it though, then I have to like recopy stuff. Yeah, it's but I'll, but that usually fixes it. I'll try that and then just copy over new settings without actually yeah. deleting the first one. That yeah, see now. Close Discord and reboot. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna close Discord quick. Make sure to close it through Task Manager instead of closing it normally, because that just minimizes it. Yep. All right, so we'll we'll be we'll be losing Aloe here for a second. I applaud your efforts to connect. I'll be losing you as well. But as a man who has seen three Black Panthers fall, I must warn you of a few things. Oh, Black Panther Many stuff. Follow the path you are about to walk down. Yeah, I remember seeing somewhere specifically that they were going to talk about Black Panther. Yeah. Be honest. You just wanted to show off this suit. There we go. Now you're moving. There he is. It is claw. Don't blame him for showing off the suit. It looks good. Ah, uh, it's fine. I don't know. Nothing in this game looks that amazing to me either. No, like the the person was like, be honest, you just did this because you wanted to show off the suit, and I was like, yeah, because it's good. Oh, oh, yeah, in in game. I don't know. Again, if this like wasn't a looter, it'd be way cooler. Like, I guess you could just buy it and then like not play like the end game looty stuff. So like, if I can get this cheap at some point, if it's on Game Pass. One of those. Ooh. That's a... large. That's a large. Now it's time to give mobile players a quick look at some of the games that will be Oh boy! Mobile players. Your, like, reports, a new threat your Twitch stream is ahead stability. of my actual Their stream. Their is unlike <laughs> anything we have seen before. Following Agent 47's disappearance, you were selected. Is this Hitman? There is no way in hell Execution that this is what the game actually looks perfect. like. Perfect. We will strike from the shadows, and they will never know. Yeah. Hit them. I forgot that that was Square Enix that did Hitman. Yep. Oh, and this is the near thing. You know, there are two games called Hitman Two. No, what's up with that? I don't. One of them came out in like 2001, and one of them came out in like 2014. I don't really know why there's two Hitman 2s. There just is. Weird. Near reincarnation. <laughs> Some of this, they just don't have music. Yeah. So, sometimes the licensed music has been replaced, and sometimes it's just been removed. Uh, yeah, but there's just there's no sound effects either. There's just not. I know. It, yeah, they just like lazily muted it. Cool. Which I I get that because it's not like their ultimate priority is other people restreaming this. Yeah. And what is this the the same mobile game that's been going on I'm, forever? There was a sound effect there. One whole sound effect. We had sound and then we lost it. Yeah, this is Brave Exodus XVS. 
And then, yeah, there's a Final Fantasy VII Battle Royale. Were you aware of that? No. What? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, take Final Fantasy is good. It's worth your time. Oh my god. Today, the team at Platinum Games is giving you an I was an Android oh. at the world of Babylon's Fall. Yeah, so let's look at Babylon's Fall. Powerful at least I can plug an Xbox controller into my phone. Are you like excited about that? No, but I want to play it. I'd I'd be down to give it a try. I doubt it'll hold my interest. It does look kind of like this. It does kind of over a thousand years. Tig, I haven't even played all of them. There's several in the middle that I haven't. And you can probably skip a lot of the older ones, like play play like the remake of seven, and then like ten onwards for sure. I thought thirteen's good. I'm surprised. I actually like thirteen, but I'm like the only person who I've ever heard of who likes it. And the coldest of winds. Eventually, the tower became a symbol of unrelenting ambition. That tower's name is Babylon. I hope that this is better than their last thing, because that robot thing on Switch wasn't good. Robot thing on Switch, you'll have to be a bit more specific. It was by Platinum, it, uh, Astral Chain, that's what it was. Oh. Like, by the time I got to the end of the game, I was like bored and ready to be done. I've seen that in CEX a few times. There's, there's like, like this is all right. it's, it's, I don't know, it's like not interesting to play. It's just like the same thing over and over forever, and it's not, you know, like Bayonetta, you could say the same thing, it's that it's like the same thing over and over, but it's like really extra, and there's like new over the top stuff all the time. Astral Chain was just like the same thing forever, and then there were like dumb, boring side quests put in it. I feel like if you told my friend that Bayonetta was boring, he'd get very upset at you. No, no, I'm not saying it is. I'm saying the the way I'm describing that Astral Chain is boring, in theory, you could make that same argument for Bayonetta, if not for the fact that it's doing other stuff to keep it, like, exciting and fresh. And you like to end up seeing only what you <laughs> Babylon was a tower in, like, Christian mythology. And I don't- that it's pronounced, I feel like that Y should be an A. I don't remember- the, the whole thing with the tower was like, like, languages. So either before the tower or after the tower, people, like, couldn't communicate. And I don't remember how that worked. Uh, but that, that's like where, like, Babel comes from, like, Babel being, like, unintelligible nonsense comes from the idea of, like, that tower. Again, before or after, I need to refresh my memory, but, like, the fact that people couldn't communicate with each other. What are they doing now with this? Nia, I'm seeing it on your stream before I'm even seeing it on my stream. This, this came out on, like, Xbox already, after PlayStation, so, like, what is... what is still happening with this game? Uh, it, it's a really cool game, by the way. I would recommend it to everybody. Oh, they're just comparing it to Nier. Oh, it's four player too. Oh my god, I'm so far behind. Why is it in German again? I don't like collect equipment and materials. That sounds grindy bullshit. Spend time playing the game, not because you want to, but because you have to. Yeah, basically. The Gideon Coffin is an important key item. That is a, a fucking proper noun if I ever heard one. I, I don't know what that is. It's, it's the little glowing thing on their back. I was thinking like a full ass coffin. It's not that. A coffin is like what you put a dead person in. A proper noun. Oh, a proper noun, like just some some specific terminology to their game world. 
ちょっと本当に私たちも嬉しくなってますしまさにこれから開発の佳境になっているのであの精一杯頑張っていきたいので皆さんも引き続き応援よろしくお願いいたしますいや、I don't know yet if I'm gonna be super into this or not, but I'm interested to see and hear more. Now let's check out the next major entry in the popular Life is Strange series, True Colors. When are they gonna talk about Balan's world? Talk about what? What's the name of it? First, hold on. Here's a look at the Life is Strange remastered collection. Oh yeah, they're doing that. Feels so weird to be back. Balan's Wonderworld. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Oh, that. That like bombed. I think people really didn't like it. Yeah, it did. It did awfully. I remember seeing like uh, someone on Kotaku or whatever was saying like this is the what Sonic should have been, but then like no. Is this the PS3 game or whatever? It looks really terrible. It's a remaster of it. Yeah. HD. Come on, let's it dance. Barely looks or different. Take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> I I would I haven't actually played this, but I did watch like a full playthrough of it. Uh, Dodger played it. Half a playthrough of it. It's a really emotional, well-told story. Something happened to her. For me, I watched like half of a playthrough of the first episode, and then I just got extremely bored. So. Max, what's going on? No. I do want to play Tell Me Why. That's also from these devs, and it's an LGBTQ thing. Uh, if I can get my sister to fucking do anything. Still waiting for you to finish. Whatever's going on between us is special. Yeah, well, I don't know when, but at some point, yeah. Then I realized I had a choice and the power to change everything. Arcadia Bay is on the edge of disaster. There's a license plate on that truck, so please. Time to change time. Did it say what? Whatever happens, there was a, the, the license plate on the back. truck. I thought it said twink. Always. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe. It just says truck, but that's it was like I, really rubbed out. That's nice key art of them there. That's very pretty. I'm Maya, yeah. also known as MXM Tune. I'm a musician and remastered voice collection. Of Alex Chen in the upcoming Life is Strange. So I got if it says it's for PS5 because that looks like a PS2 that first game. Look at official gameplay from the remastered collection. Well, it's very stylized. It's not meant to be fully realistic. You can see the love and care that Deck Nine have put into remastering both Life is Strange and Before Jesus, the Storm. Jesus, look at the amount of vinyls on that wall. Features improved character animation, <laughs> lip sync, and visuals, breathing new life into these two beloved games. Back in March, we also revealed the next major game in the series, Life is Strange True Colors, a small town supernatural mystery. Alex Chen must uncover the truth behind her brother's death, using her psychic power of empathy to unravel the shocking secrets of Haven Springs. Today, we have a first look at Alex's unique power in action. Here's game director Zach Garris for more. Alex's psychic power of empathy is integral to the story. I definitely like the the whole color theme and like the UI elements that go with that. I had no idea that Square made Life is Strange though. Oh yeah, yeah they do. Alex has been unable to shut out the strong feelings of others, the fear, sadness, and anger of those around her, leading her to believe her power is a curse. In the wake of Gabe's death. Alex realizes the only way she can find the truth is to embrace her power. I can't believe this is happening. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. That sounds so generic. I'm sorry. From the very just, start, yeah. You can use Every Alex's other game is just like, focus on they have to find their way using that magic power. Wait, okay. Just too young. Just too young. These valuable insights. It, I mean, these are maybe a little bit like tropey, but the execution uh, has been done very well. Early on in the game, you're gonna lose her. You're gonna lose her, and it's all your fault. Alex has uncovered a secret. I feel like this whole like empathy thing though is gonna be hard to convey because it's gonna just feel like mind reading. Talk to Riley. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me so please especially because i like i don't think it's exactly easy to convey a lot of emotions through colors 
Max telling you a whole lot like, of Like, what the hell was that guy? Like, he was feeling purple? What's that supposed to mean? So we... Well, right, that's what I mean. Like, you can't... There's, there's no input, output for emotion. You can't hold a game controller and have the game, like, convey happy. You have to, like, rely on other stuff. PS5 controller's got a speaker in it. It's just going to yell the word sad at you. In this altered, emotionally charged state, Alex can experience fragments of thoughts and memories to get Holding to the hand out like it's a force. But not every emotional crisis can be easily dealt with. I mean, honestly, like, stuff like stuff like that happens. Like, you have someone do that in Star Wars, and Star Wars is popular, so then that, like, bleeds into everything else. No decision is easy. And the consequences will yeah, be Yeah, but I'm just thinking, like, imagine if someone this did this in real life. Like, they just... What like, if, you're, you're going through something, and they just hold just their hand out. Like, as if take it away. they're, like, trying to transfer something to you. Like, what it's, you it's like main character syndrome. It's like in Persona when Ryuji is, like, yelling about them being the Phantom Thieves, and then, like, nobody then hears them. Hold, holds her hand out like that. You, and She turns around and looks at her holding her hand out like that. She's like, what Should are I? you doing? How far will you go in pursuit of that truth? The choice is yours. Alex's powers look so awesome. That's a dumb tagline. How far will you go in pursuit of that truth? It's your choice. Meaning, you can either play the game or stop playing the game. Or you can not buy it. Now. And if you choose the Ultimate Edition, you'll also receive the Life is Strange Remastered Collection. Wow, oh boy. Make sure to follow the Life is Strange social channels for more. <laughs> That dynamic purple, don't touch me pose. <laughs> it just played for me. That's her no-no square, and nobody better touch her there. Are you gonna buy a Series X, Ryan? Because God knows I can't afford one. And now we are excited to unveil a brand new title from Square. They're not being Japan. stuck for long. How about that, though? Is it a Final Fantasy? Why did you say Square Enix? Excuse me. I'm here to kill chaos. That's is this mission. Final Fantasy Neo? It smells like it. Team Ninja, this is it. Looks like chaos. Look at look at that regular man. Look at that regular man in my Final Fantasy game. There's just like these two extra guys and then regular man. I only know one thing. I want to kill. Actually, I do like the one on the left, though. Need to. Yeah. It's not a little, little Twinkus. That's uh, like um, Thirst. And then, <laughs> generic man number 572. No Final Fantasy style. Now, he's actually wearing, like, different armor now, but he starts out in, like, a very non-Final Fantasy looking outfit. Yeah, but there's, like, he doesn't have the usual fancy hair, he just has a buzz cut. That, I mean, yes, that too, that isn't changing. It says it's limited? Yeah, because it's a Series X. I've got to limit all their stock when it comes to consoles. So thick, I can taste like when the this Switch is had its issues last well, year, I barely got one. Because they were only in stock for 45 minutes. There was a knight who left on the same journey as you, but never returned. His name was Garland. Garland. Is so is this like a retelling of one? Chaos. <laughs> Garfield. Garfield. I'll crush you. Yeah, you know when you're beaten. And who are you? We're here to kill chaos. The prophecy's um. very own warriors of light. Real. Yeah. So this this is like a retelling of one. That's cool. With a helmet that was terrifying to behold. What's the name of Pink Hair then? It's Garland. I don't know. These are all new characters except for Garland. Because in, in the first Final Fantasy, they didn't have, like, defined characters. Stranger of Paradise. That's a stupid I'm fucking name. I'm assuming that they'll have names. Yes, right, but we, ju we just don't know ahead of time. 
Oh my god, I have to play this. Oh, Demo soon! Oh, 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 at least it's on Xbox One and PS4 though, so I can actually play it. Look at some of the amazing oh, PlayStation 5, play suck now, my nuts. As well as those to come. Why? Why? Okay, the, the actual uh, game is going to be They're awesome. doing, they're doing a, inter, an integrated trailer, so you may want to like hide your eyes. Yeah, I'm going to. At, at, oh. least, at least, whatever it was called, something of Origins, it'll be on PS4 and Xbox One, but the... All right. The demo is oh. only on PS5. That's annoying. They're okay. They're just showing a bunch of stuff here. Okay. Yeah, but I still saw Final Fantasy, so. Bro. Oh yeah, and then the world ends with you. I'm. We're getting near the end of the anime of that. I'm curious about maybe playing the second game. Is it? I, I guess yeah. It's like voice acting. It's like three o'clock. I guess it's like done already. What is Forspoken? That looks new and rad. I haven't seen that. No music. It's all or nothing. And Walker still looks super rad. Oh, Final Fantasy XIV online. I'll call you, I'll call you. Thank you for joining us today. Keep an eye out for news about our next Square Enix Presents. I'm Matt Mercer. Yeah, he does say it. Matt, Matt's saying it weird. I, they, do, they do that in Japan sometimes. They're like, hey... English speakers, you have to pronounce it this way, which is like objectively wrong. Okay, but how much text is in that? <laughs> we're we're Japan, so we're just gonna make you. Yeah, Star Lord was like banging a tentacle monster or something. It's it's Enix. It's not Enix. It's Enix. It's like how people argue over if you if it's pronounced Nike or Nike or Adidas or Adidas. But like 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 the thing I'm talking about, they do this in Persona. I think we talked about this in Persona, where they're like. Like, the character's name is, like, Ryuji Sakamoto, and that that would be kind of, like, the normal American way to say it. But then the Japanese, like, handlers are, like, you can't say Sakamoto, you have to say Sakamoto. And it's like, no, Tra that's... Horror, different countries pronounce things differently. Well, but, but, like, if you're not English, don't tell the English people what the best way to say it is. Like, you don't know, and your way is objectively wrong. That reminded me of something, but I forgot what it was. Oh yeah, the new Nier game. How are you supposed to pronounce that? Which... Th so there's Nier Automata, or Automata. Uh, yeah, that's, that's not, the, that's not the new one. Replicant is the new one. Yeah, but that's, that's the one I meant. Uh, I don't... I argue over how you pronounce that one as well. I'm not entirely sure on that, honestly. I just say Automata. Yeah, I think, you, I think you're fine there. Uh, so so that's it, I guess. Those are the two things. Xbox and Square. Yep. yep. Uh, apart from Tuesday, when Nintendo have a presentation. Right. Uh, yeah, I just meant that's it for today. So uh, we will uh, be streaming Nintendo on Tuesday unless something terrible is happening and I have, like, a fire to put out at work. Yeah. If you If you can't make it, then I can still stream, but you have, like, ten viewers right now, and I imagine none of them know who I am, so... Uh, seven. I, I also just realized I wasn't on just chatting this whole time, even though I was supposed to be. I was just yeah, right. categoryless. Uh, yeah, if, if anyone here, if you're not following Alaprax on Twitch, go go diddle that little heart button on his page. Because <laughs> he's a good boy, and uh, we want good things for him. You're too kind. Are you streaming again later tonight? Yes. Um, probably just Ratchet and Clank. I I had floated in in the gaming channel, like, hey, should we do anything? But I ended up doing Halo last night, so like, I'm probably fine. Uh, oh, un unless unless someone else is like, like, hey, do you want to do things tonight? And then maybe, but like, likely just Ratchet and Clank. Well, I I missed out on a lot of that. To be fair, I like how much of that first stream did I miss? I think three hours. So I missed like the opening of it. So I'm missing like, quite a lot of context. Maybe closer to two, but yeah, two or three somewhere in there. Because I woke up at five that that time. Well, the vod's up on Twitch and YouTube, so it's there for you or anybody else who needs to play catch up. Yeah, I don't really like watching vods though. I yeah, yeah, I know. Watching it live. Uh, yeah, so I, like, I'm, I'm excited to play that probably more than Final Fantasy. 
which I do still need to finish that at some point, hopefully in just one more stream. Um, yeah. But I, th I think, unless I do something multiplayer tonight, would be Ratchet and Clank. Cool. So, uh, yeah. Uh, hello, Havoc. You're just in time for me to end the stream. <laughs> A little bit late. Yeah, I'm ending the stream in, like, probably two, three minutes, because yeah, gaming. We, we yeah, so, so we will be doing Nintendo on Tuesday, which is 11 a.m. my time. 5 p.m. my time, then. Damn, I'm not um, No, Ryan's here as well, I think. But, yeah, my, my streams are generally quite low viewer-wise. We'll get you up there. Yeah, Ryan's still here. I knew it. For some reason, it just has one viewer, though. I, I would, I would, uh, I would take great joy in getting you up. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, any, any, any closing thoughts before we end it off here? Uh, not really. Other than like, I'm gonna buy Slime Rancher because, of course. Right. Uh. Forza look decent. Uh, Halo looks decent. I might get Master Chief Collection at some point. Uh, what was the name of that last Final Fantasy game with pink hair? Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. I Very stupid and convoluted. It's it's it I'm looks it's Dark Souls that. Final Fantasy basically. Yeah, I think so. I, I think it said uh, uh, it would be on PS4, but. It, okay, the stream ended. Now you're just seeing like my YouTube recommended shit or things I've watched recently. I paused mine before it could do that. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. It's all like I see the I see a John Tron video. There's a John Tron. There's Noodle, Scary Game Squad, Super Mega, Donkey, Did You Know Gaming, Super Mega Achievement Hunter. I'm pausing it before the ASMR shows up. I don't listen to ASMR. Really, but, and certainly not on my main. Well, I only have one account, so. Well, I'm just gonna hide that. But uh, there we go. yeah, I I think the Final Fantasy game said that it would be playable on PS4 and Xbox One, but yeah, that uh, the demo is only PS5, which is really annoying. But oh uh, well, hopefully they bring it to PS4 at some point because I'm not about to pay for uh, pay three hundred million pound for a PS5. I kind of doubt it. The demo's probably just going to be on PS5. That would be really upsetting if it was. Yeah. Alright, well, uh, let's call it here. Yep, I'm gonna... That, that was fun. I look forward to Tuesday. So do I. Um, yeah, for, for anyone in either of our chats here, I will be doing my usual nightly stream in, like, five hours from now. Yeah. Uh, so I'll be around. Ala will probably be in chat. I will. So you could come harass him. <laughs> you can if you want. I don't mind. Yeah. All right. Uh, bye, uh, chat. Uh, yep. should, we, should we should we have uh, a bro kiss before we end it? If I can figure out which direction I'm supposed to go in, because I think my left is your right and your left is I. Oh, what? Hang on. Pick, pick a direction and I'll tell you if it's right. Yeah, that way. Okay. Okay. Mwah. Gaming. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>